That might be a Lady Gaga song. We were born this way. Mm -mm -mm -ah. Mm -mm -ah. That's the song. I think I've, uh, yeah. That's Welcome to the Clout Round Podcast. Ah. Ooh, ah, ah. I wish I had like a, uh, there's not really like a above waist dance move that I can do. Like, there it is. Yeah. Uh, you just, yeah. Uh, yeah. What was there, like the shopping cart? Uh, what's the. I can't see. You can't. Yeah, you're going to knock the camera down. It's going to be this is the really sprinkler exciting. at the top of the podcast. Welcome to the ceiling. How route. old are you we? You can stare at the fan for two hours. Our old dance moves. What is that even called that I did? The box I thing. I don't know. All I know is the thing that <laughs> I did. What is it even from? I was I even old know. when I was born. So, right? I don't, I don't know. It's. Uh, <laughs> I had it. Speaking of being old, uh, I had someone comment on a sports tweet uh, that I was involved in. The Colts play the Patriots this weekend, and I was on a live stream last night. Uh, shameless plug on Indy Intercept talking about it. And someone responded in a tweet, it's not your father's Manning versus Brady matchup, which really hit me in the gut seeing as that – that was happening when I was in fucking high school. It wasn't my – it's not – yeah, it's not my father's Manning-Brady matchup, kids. It's mine. I'm f f I'm old, dude. I, I waited <laughs> past 30 to get my f the fuck out of my system, but God, I'm fucking old and it hurts. Uh, well, <sighs> you said it, not me, dog. Man, not, <laughs> not, not your father's. Is that just like some 20-year-old on Twitter just pissing me off? Like it's Not uh, your damn. father's. It's, uh, Have you ever had Brady's uh, still playing, man? Sorry, go ahead. Have I ever had what a root <laughs> no, beer? No, yes. No. Yeah. yeah, I've had. You know what? Speaking of, it's time. I was gonna wait, but you know what? We're going to the God, callback not. early. Going to episode callback. Are we past thirty? We're past thirty. You know Welcome what? to the fucking podcast, <sighs> bitches. This thing Biatch. not only denotes how great I am at fantasy football, but it carries quite a few tall boys in it. So let's go. Tall boys disgust me. Like one of the episodes we should do, like That's, Edward Forty Hands. I'm body positive. I'm body positive, dude. Uh, so. <laughs> tall boys disgust you. I hate to hear that. <laughs> yeah. I hate to. They hear They do that. literally. Tall boys disgust me. I'm a short king. I don't tall play boys. Edward's Forty Blech. Hands with bigots. All right. So yeah, well, maybe next time. Well, <laughs> I'll drop the bigot, and then we can do some okay. Edward Forty Hands. So we'll do it about. next week then. Okay. So what I wanted to show you at the top, everybody, welcome this week. It is our fiftieth. Pow. episode and you know i figured the best thing to start with on our 50th episode would be to have me and kevin commentate <sighs> over some uh boogie only fans pictures so you can get our live reactions without <sighs> I, if you want to see you know what we're seeing you gotta go you know check his page out yourself <sighs> And we're not going to, I'm not paying for his shit, by the way. Don't get me twisted. But we are going to take a peek at, yeah, we're going to stroll through some of this and mm. take a peek at his nastiness. First off, oh, I mean, nastiness is body shaming. You're right. I shouldn't say that. Like, some of the high <laughs> high content you might be getting is, like, feet pics. Apparently, he's you asking see the feet who's uh buying feet pics i shared that earlier which he does have the correct amount of toes so boogie confirmed not to be three generations inbred and you know you got that going for him that's surprising oh, them, them at least toes are heading all kinds of directions they're gross um, i don't so know what he's got going on i anticipate he's gonna sell at least a few photos because i imagine I imagine people are they're in it for the unique feet, right? Like you're probably the not in it for feet? the run of the mill feet that like everybody have, right? Like I'm, I don't I have no idea. I'd never purchase a picture, let alone a picture of somebody's feet. But I, I'm I don't know. Uh, you you gotta never stick out, right? You've yeah. never bought a picture of somebody's feet. A, I've never purchased a picture. I'm trying to. I don't think maybe a painting. You're so purchased? you're well, so vanilla, Kevin. You've picture. never bought feet pictures before. Come on. No, no. I don't know what you're doing. I get my feet pics for free. <laughs> I don't pay for that shit. That's for free. So you see what he says underneath? I get paid he says for feet pics, dog. I got Hobbit feet. Boogie says underneath the picture of his diabetes foot. He says, oh, "Better get pictures of these toes before the diabetes gets them." <laughs> oh, at least he said it. Okay. I was like, "God damn, Danny, jeez." Wait, you gotta yeah, wait. He said it's thirty it. seconds for like blatant cuss words, and then it's five minutes to like start like being mean. You, there's, there, you gotta, you gotta wait. 
Uh, well, I'm not being mean. You got a five minute bully buffer. He said, di- uh, he, he said, said diabetes. It, so it's fine. You know? Diabetes. <laughs> I, I, good job, Boogie. Way to go. Uh, uh, way to own it. But if I, we go down feet, far man. enough, we've got Chubsy Wubsy drinking a Mountain Dew, and he says, "I know what you want to see on my OnlyFans, which mm. they w- people want to see him chug Mountain Dews. That's what you want to see him do." Do you want to see that? I want to know. Let us know in the chat. I would like to know if you want to see Boogie chugging Mountain Dews. Because I, back in like 2013, 2014, I actually tried doing the whole chugging on YouTube thing. And it didn't it didn't work for me. So, you know, I am very jealous of Boogie. Who's the dude that like drinks the shit out of the foot and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, yeah. That, what a collab. We're not looking dude. that up. What a collab. I'm you can look it up yourself. I think Leon Lush did some stuff with it. And also, it's in an old episode. We talked about this guy before. Yeah. So you can find him. Who? Yep, and there's the photo, which is why some people are wondering, <sighs> why are we still on face cam? Well, I really want to, like, <laughs> I wish I could pull that up. I wish I could show you, but we can't. But, I mean, you heard what happened to Boogie anyways, right? You did heard about all this drama? What where what crypto did he lose his money? Yeah, he right, invested. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to yeah. I don't know what crypto it okay. was, but he apparently according to, you know, shit posters on Twitter, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh Yeah, he invested in a bunch of crypto and then was asking people to buy his merch or something because he was so Yeah, look. Dude, can we make merch? Because uh, when I um, wasted all of I his want money, to beg soon. I really How I spend begging. my money? I mean, I kind of want to watch that. We don't have to watch it now, but geez, I am just dying to know how Boogie spends his money. I am. What? Do you have any guesses? What do you think Boogie is spending his money on, Danny? Cheetos. I think that's probably on the list. Hmm. Oh, I think I he's know. probably got some weird hobbies, right? Like I'm I'm guessing is Boogie like a figurine guy? You think well, you think he's got like a shelf full of collectibles that he could probably just turn around and sell to get his money back, but he won't do that. Like that's not a reasonable option. I'm you I'll know. tell you what I honestly think. Okay. Boogie it, Boogie's a freak, okay? <gasps> I mean like if if you if there's any question about it, he's a freak. Like mm. I've heard him on the H3 podcast a few times talk about, like, what he's done and stuff. So he's, like, always – when I say a freak, he, like, he's freaky, I guess. I don't mean you derogatory. Mean like, you mean, like, he's humped a bed for views. That and kind of like thing. He's, he's, yes. He's, he has eccentric, a, uh, eccentric things that he's into, you know, in the bedroom. And, naughty. yeah, he just talked about it. Like, yeah, he had, you know – Freaky stuff going on. I can't recall exactly what it was, but I remember the the realm of activity was f- the freaky, off limits kind of stuff, you know. Mm. And so he's talked about it before, and I've seen him getting controversy on Twitter. I'm sure it's not a surprise that, like Boogie's, you know, he likes women. Boogie has has blown up our stream multiple times just by being on Twitter. Like just because you follow him on the Clout Routes Twitter, there have been multiple episodes where we'll just randomly be scrolling through, and all of a sudden, boom! It's like, oh, I got Boogie, not again! Like, what <laughs> kind of tweets are you, you're, Boogie? <laughs> your, your likes are public, Boogie. <laughs> we can see them. <laughs> so now he wants to sell his feet pics on OnlyFans. So subscribe. I mean. We put a poll up, so if you want to check that out, uh, it's, you know, what would you rather pay $8 a month for, Boogie's OnlyFans or Twitter? So, And yes, those are your only two options. You have to give eight of your dollars to your overlords. What, what are you right. choosing? Elon what service and, are you paying for? Elon and... Uh, Oh my gosh! Yeah, Mike, I told Let's you. Watch this Mike. at the top. <laughs> Do you think we'll get in trouble? This is like some WWE copyright thing. Um, no, I think we'll be okay. Keep. We're it. gonna get into it later. Don't, don't full screen it. Keep it small. And uh, yeah, this this will be fine. If we show the Bray Wyatt stuff, we will get uh, we'll get the video taken down. I, I, Here, I know. You can just live. see a been little there, Mike there, done Mike Magellan getting his ass whooped. Here we go. <laughs> Oh shit! That stuff's so fake though, because he's like, yeah. he like, 
pushes on him. Like, what the f- who the fuck are you, Mike? Stay in your lane, bruh. Hey, he he, uh, he got some face. I got some big time face time. Both those dudes got in the ring and got kicked in the face. So yeah, both of Logan's pod. So Logan basically is bringing his entire family and friends into the wrestling world. Yes. As soon, okay. I don't know if it's <laughs> unprecedented, but has a dad ever joined in? Been like, oh, my sons are wrestlers. Yes, because. You know that Jake and Logan's dad is waiting to get the call for like, oh, dad, they want you to come in for a shtick. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know? And I'm going to answer your question with another question. Can you guess whose dad was the last dad, at least that I personally remember, being involved in a major WWE storyline? If you had to mm. guess one wrestler's dad. Who do you think? What, what kind of wrestler would would you think would bring their dad into a storyline like that and have dad get fake hurt? You say that almost as if I should know. Yeah, so we I'm might like, have talked about it earlier in the pre-show. Oh no! Oh, you did. Awesome. The Miz. The <laughs> yeah, okay. the, the, yeah, the yeah, OG. Yeah. The the Alpha. Uh, the alpha is in like the alpha test, not the alpha omega. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the pre Correct. the first reality TV star turned wrestler. Mm-hmm. So not only has it been done, it's been done with other bigger stars too. It's actually a very popular, like easy thing to do. Have a family member come and be supportive, and then have the bad guy fake hit him in the front row or hit him with a chair, and then it's like oh sympathy. So it's actually a very common thing. So I would not be surprised at all to see Dad show up with one of these. Um, oh my what that's what Yo. I was I was Yo. like waiting for you to finish Yo. your point because I just see this right off the top Aaron Carter found dead there's um, is this real it's barstool I almost feel like I can't, I can't trust, trust it. anything 34 Aaron Carter has died Man. singer found singer turned rapper and actor found dead Saturday in his house what is it's today Found his body in his bathtub. Nine one one call. Eleven a.m. Saturday. The male had drowned in his tub. Wow, this is Damn breaking man. news, dude. Too. This is Did like right that. off the rip. Six that. minutes ago, Barstool Sports. I mean, Jesus Christ. I guess Twitter keeps us on top. Yikes. Rest in peace. Is this yeah, like? Man. Are we gonna get fucking in trouble for this? Thirty four years old. No, it's, uh, it makes me sad, dude. Yeah, that I can't imagine. No, I mean. Uh, obviously it wasn't our intention and I'm not going to put him on the thumbnail or anything like that. So, I mean, it's just, it's just something that happened that we weren't, wasn't expecting that to pop up on the home on the timeline there. Wow. How wild is yeah, that? Makes, makes me sad, man. The last time we saw Aaron, we were having a little fun at his, uh, Instagram live and TikTok antics. Remember he was trying he to would, get some dates. He just, I mean, like um, we didn't talk about it on the pod, but he was just saying some shit about the Kanye stuff. Oh, Somebody wow. had him on something, or he just did it on Instagram or whatever, you know, where he was sounding off about Kanye. Because I saw the headline, and I don't think that I, unfortunately, now I don't think that I picked up on it. I feel bad. Yeah, poor guy, man. Strictly. That's wild. I feel like I was just here. Didn't we watch him in a fight recently too? He's, he's been, in a boxing yeah, match or something. He's been around, yeah. I mean, I mean, but wow. his his addiction issues have also been no secret either. So wow, it's it everywhere things. now. He, he was probably absolutely fine, and and I don't want I don't want to speculate at all. But he, who knows? He, I'm not even suggesting not sitting here saying what the cause was, but you yeah. party for that long. Um, there's some wear and tear that goes into that. So it's un- it's a damn, goddamn unfortunate, man. I I. Thoughts, uh, best wishes to the family. That What's sucks, your bro? Ha- let's take a tour real quick. I yeah, guess since we're here, let's, uh, and now a palate cleanser. No, I mean we're gonna. No, the pal- it is still Aaron <laughs> Carter. Are you gonna? But, is it the basketball song again? I mean, I don't know what. Uh, maybe there's something we haven't seen on the pod yet. That's kind of funny. Or I don't want to. Wasn't that the thing? Was that I, the thing we shall before? We sh- sh- did before? the Shack thing. That's oh, how I beat Shaq. That's what we looked at on the pod. I don't want to look at any of his newer stuff because it's kind of Mimi. depressing now, I guess. Well, not his newer music. I meant like his newer like pop-off videos because if you look at all these, it's like him oh, yeah, popping just, off. He yeah. had He's had a rough, I feel like, recent go at it. 
vice president of Hilliard City Council. Screw Hilliard City Council. It almost feels weird to watch, like, even the children's stuff, because if you think about it, like, that's that's what happens so often. Like, how poor kid right. had it's success children at nine years stuff. old, yeah. had children all the things that most performers. people don't get their entire lives, and then... Look at this shit, dude. It's in fucking square mode. <laughs> it's in 240p. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's, let's let it have a taste, and then you can continue your thoughts. That has to be wet. That's probably over my limit of Aaron Carter. I mean, people remember Aaron Carter, dude, pretty fondly. Yeah. Dude, yeah. okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give a Aaron Carter moment, but I want you to finish your thought. You said um, you were just talking about the rough life thing. and Yeah, yeah and just the whole child star thing. Child I star thing, yeah. There's too many stories like this. Um it's just very sad. Hey, all you have to grow up so fast at that point. I would think I can't. I can't. I can't fathom it. I can't imagine it at at the age that that kid was making that video and making hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. Like I was, riding, I wonder riding my bike around, starting illegal forest fires. Like you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like yeah. No, I, I mean doing, I was in st stupidest middle things, school or something. Um, just being a normal middle schooler, you know. I so I can't imagine that that waking up one day and like having to deal with press and interviews and all kinds well, of what, what does that do to that's your That's the ego life you live your when you're such a a performer and a lyricist even you could say you know that's how he beat Shaq. not to mention having nobody a else made a song like that world fame and then it wasn't there's wasn't not no that's how i beat lebron older okay? brother right his brother's a backstreet boy so like we're talking whichever about whichever it is we're talking about NSYNC. like fame to, at a level that like especially up at that time like now mm -hmm. now someone on youtube can get as famous as like the backstreet boys were yeah. in the 90s but yeah for, for sure the, like it was just fucking it was just insane so yeah this the amount of pressure and then that turns to i mean shit again how many young teens have turned to drugs that didn't face nearly that amount of pressure so i don't know i'm just saying like you see it's, with the actors all the time yeah Definitely. like I don't have such an expertise in uh, in musicians per se. I've like learned a lot more about actors and stuff. And yes, you see that trend quite frequently. Not only in children, because children you could see how it would happen. Like they get in certain situations. They're with older kids, maybe like older young adults, and they get influenced to do different things at different times you know how it is but um i can only imagine like the people he was hanging out with and what he was doing and what that got him into i guess yep yep poor guy man oh, rest in peace he won't have to deal with it anymore remember him fondly what i yeah. was gonna say was my anecdote was that I don't remember if I mean this is an embarrassing uh light shed on my life. Yes. Um I can't remember if it was yeah, I don't know. We, either way we were young and my best friend and I would rollerblade around in his uh driveway to the Pokemon soundtrack, okay? And that had like in sync and stuff on it. So it I'm not sure mm, if okay. Aaron Carter was on the Pokemon soundtrack. He could have been. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But either way, my best friend definitely had some Aaron Carter CDs. So, like, we had, we definitely have roller, I have definitely rollerbladed around a <laughs> driveway listening to Aaron Carter's music. So. That happened in my life. I mean, he was. We're, 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 I'm very similar in age to him too. I think you are. How old are you? I forget. Always thirty-four. And, okay, yeah. So yeah, you're the exact same age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a weird day for me. Um, yeah, it it would it sucks. I would like I would echo what you said. Remember him fondly. Think about uh, the good times now. Let that, the good times roll. Now that we're at this point, I will no longer <laughs> be enjoying. 
uh, the more memeable, uh, poking fun versions, uh, <laughs> stories that we watched before. <coughs> but you know, um, yeah, he won't appear on the clout raw probably. Yeah, but for any reason, I can think. Nah. Yeah, well, post mortem clout raw. Nah. Is that a thing? Is this morbid to talk about that right now? Okay. No, I mean he could come up if somebody <laughs> somebody starts to try to grift. You know, <laughs> of course, if like he has a fake cousin come out who's like, I have all these unreleased Aaron Carter tracks. I'm going to no. sell them. Like, what yeah, we would talk about that. Absolutely. When Elon does this Twitter switch and makes the verification badge, you pay for it when it's eight bucks for your verification badge. Dusted somebody papers. will buy, will make Aaron Carter and then buy the verification badge for it. And they will be verified Aaron Carter from the grave. Which again, uh, kind of defeats the whole purpose of the verification process. But no, hey, no, 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 I don't no. have the don't same know. big no, no, brain no, no. that Elon has, so I can't quite figure that one out. Um, but <laughs> I mean, we'll I'm see sure that because it just... seems like he's moving on things fast. Like this is perfect. Yeah, we're ju- we're about- yeah. The, the, we're it'll be s- good content at least. We'll get yeah. to see like Twitter melt down. I think we'll see the emperor's new clothes very soon, and. Uh, it's going to be interesting because, yeah, we there's nowhere to hide now. If he, if he screws Twitter up, <laughs> we're all going to have front row seats. And I would say so far the first move was an absolute botch job. But yeah, we were just cutting off your platform's credibility at the knees by doing this whole pay for blue check mark things. And, and he's being really weird. Like, it's uh, – before we go into the story, mm-hmm. I'll take this beautiful woman off the uh, screen so that we don't – I'm not clickbaiting anybody, but uh, he's going so. Have you kept up with any of the Elon shit? Have you like seen him interacting on Twitter at all? Uh, I saw him try to haggle with Stephen King. Yeah, so that happened. That was like the cusp. That was like the not the cusp. What about eight dollars? Hmm? That was like the tip of the iceberg. Also, just noticing that he again has missed the plot. Um, just can't. D- did not did not get the point of the original tweet i think uh, i mm-hmm. don't think stephen king is hurting for money he did not uh, mean that he couldn't afford 20 dollars a month elon so he wasn't the oh, what about eight and he's like you're that's not what i fucking mean what about you idiot eight? you fucking idiot um sorry I mean, sorry no that's fine i love the elon hate because i'm not a fan it's either not but a smart man i mean he is apparently but it's a wealthy man it's just weird it's a grift okay yeah sure yeah yeah he's he's i can't i should not say that he's not smart (laughs) he's not a fucking genius and certainly not everything he does is smart and i'm watching it live i'm watching him do very dumb things with personality wise he's dumb yes i would say that is definitely true now whether he was advised i think socially he's very dumb yeah like like, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. socially awkward i mean maybe he's like autistic or something and most of the stuff he's like are just patents that he's paid for so it's just whether or not he actually he didn't is invent some shit. genius he kiss or my is, is very debatable to me. So let's see it. Let's see your genius at play. Yeah, let well, that sink in. I wish he I forgot had about Mars. I guess we're not doing that anymore. It's Twitter now, is the new fucking land that we're conquering. What but. if Twitter is Mars? Yeah, whatever. Um, I forget what my point was when we got on this. Oh, the fact that he's just going in so hard about the blue check mark. Like he had that interaction with Stephen King that you're talking about. Mm. And then he went on to like he had an interaction with AOC that I think we might have in the doc that uh they exchanged some shit and he was just like shut up and pay me 8 bucks or my whatever. My two favorite people to follow. To, to follow yeah, right. Twins. Yeah, of course. Everybody loves it. I mean, it's basically red and blue. Red versus blue. <laughs> inherently right there but uh yeah they're having their exchange and he's like yeah fuck you and pay eight bucks and he's done this on like multiple things i've seen him comment on tons of things being like whatever eight bucks i'll let people hate me for eight bucks blah 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 eight bucks so like it's gonna be eight bucks clearly he's <laughs> landed on the eight bucks and it's the eight bucks i can't wait to be verified dude but well, and this is my conundrum Special with it all. Category. Like, so what what happens if I don't, like, pay for the verification? Does this mean somebody could just go make Clout Route podcast or something, make that their handle, verify it, 
for eight bucks a month if they wanted to. Like, you're fucking mm-hmm. weird as fuck if you're doing that to us. <laughs> but I appreciate it. You know, going to that length and doing that, you could swipe somebody's shit underneath them, I feel like, and then pay for a verification. The whole and you're not even the, the real process. person. Yeah, it was the, literally the entire point of the process. This hat, this right. Is ha- it happened to he, actual celebrities when Twitter was first getting started. That's why he can't they be had that dumb, this. is what he, I'm saying. I, yeah. And and I'm you know if I'm paying eight bucks all I gotta say Elon is you better start allowing more than one account per phone number because you're not the only guy in the world with multiple businesses dude that are run from the same phone so now I'm out here can't have as many Twitter accounts as I need so if you're gonna charge oh, I me I forgot you for tell it, me about that too. yeah I fucking want to be able to link more accounts to my phone I know it's not unreasonable to be like I have a sports podcast I have a I have a, a movie podcast and the, like it's why can't I be on more it's stupid anyway i just i mean if fix, it's just fix something is actually broken if it's just something just as simple as we have a podcast and we have a personal twitter i mean there's tons of people people have all accounts and shit too yeah. it's just all so annoying and i'm wondering how inhibiting it's going to be on the experience if you don't have it anymore yeah. you know what i mean like i've never had it so is my experience just going to stay the same because that's fine with me yeah but if like if now my experience changes for the worse because i'm not paying for the eight bucks a month or whatever yeah shadow that'll piss me off shadow blocked kind of like if you just well get, like, like yeah you're not promoted put, as much yeah, or you something get put in a corner with all the other unverifieds where you know it's like oh here you're you're newly like we were talking about before with the home uh we we're talking about this maybe in the pre-show how your timeline it's not set normally to be right like just your most recent tweets from actually people you follow it's curated by an mm-hmm. algorithm like is the algorithm going to switch and only show you the people that are paying to be like is it going to show you only right verified or, people or show them first or something it? Like, what's it going to do yeah and what the fuck dude it just seems like what the fuck whatever whatever who cares fuck twitter and fuck elon too also i got bitten alive by a bunch of weird florida ocean bugs so if you see me scratching like this it's uh, there's a there, it, there's my reasoning so leave me alone. i hope you didn't bring anything into my house dude Mm. There's gonna be little cr- ocean bugs mm. crawling around somewhere. <sighs> yeah. So, wait, what do you mean by? Uh, is this like crabs? Mm. Do you have crabs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't they have spray for that now or I something? Checked, Jesus I Christ! Didn't check for that, but oh now that you mentioned God. it, I should probably probably look into that. No, there's like a there's like these invisible gnats on the ocean that like bite <sighs> bite you. It yeah. grosses me out. Yeah, I was a prank. I imagine. And I'm the joke's on me because joke's now, on you. Now I look like freaking. I look like I got the chicken pox, or like I look like Freddy Krueger. Jokes uh, on Lori because I'm gonna vote for her to like oh fucking no, get pooped on or something not this live. Girl. You gotta what tell a, me about this. What a business model. This is our our friend Lori, is it? Yeah, it's uh, Lori. Live with Lori or something like that. Live with Lori before. So the wow. gist of it that I know is that she goes on Telegram and like. Post polls and shit, and then mm-hmm. results on OnlyFans, which is an interesting business venture. I say. it is. Uh, Boogie could maybe take some notes here because she has turned this idea into quite well, is. a lucrative OnlyFans. No, but I mean this specific type of OnlyFans, and by that, what I'm saying is Miss Laura over here has given <coughs> oh. full control right. yeah, yeah. of her entire life to her audience. Uh, so much so that she uh, has quit her job and ended a relationship that she was in, all at the behest of whore, her. Sorry, did you just call her a whore? Sorry, of her hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> Her fans. So there we go. I forget. I was gonna say something. I had something clever Sorry, about the fans, but then I accidentally said whore, and, uh, and I caught, and then yeah. I got you. Yep. And so That's now, how I'm, now I'm I like just that. face first in the mud. <laughs> but yeah, insert um, simp or incel joke here. And uh, that was my no, commentary, me, basically. Of course, it's like, oh, of course, the dudes who pay you thirty bucks a month to see you in underwear told you to break up with your boyfriend. What else were they gonna tell you to do? Um, but I like the there is captions down here. It says, "I will not accept a poll which could put me in danger, harm someone, or be hateful." Uh, That's good because I I was worried about might turn out like that movie Spree, which was just. Like, hey, Not I'll pay. Good. Like, f- here's five bucks. 
go murder somebody. Yeah, right? Like, there's got to be some, some, I mean, because you know, especially on the internet, you know there's some people who would be like, no, I bet you won't freaking do that. Well, I'll the pay, example the example she gives here is weird to me because she says, uh, blah, 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 I don't know what the experience will lead. The poll online right now is whether I should give 100 bucks to a fan. How often is she doing, like, I would just do that all the time. Like, this is some, yeah, Yeah, like that. Yeah, just don't get, That's weird to me. Like, okay, the next one should be, like, give $500 to a fan. Like, if that's what we're going to be here for, I'll watch her stream all day and try to get, you know, a thousand bucks. Just a naked lottery? Is that what that is? Naked lottery is what it sounds like, but no. What I want her to do... Just put a lay flat on the ground. Whoa. Put a piece of plexiglass over top of her. Uh oh. Concealed. So like she's in a plexiglass box. Like mm. she can see through the whole thing, but she's lying flat on the ground. And she can breathe, right? There are holes in it. There are holes. She well, she definitely can breathe. Okay. So she can breathe. Okay. Maybe it's like a snorkel okay. type of breathing. It can't be like a there's got to be sealed. It's sealed. This is feeling like an idea for the Halloween episode, but go ahead. Sealed. I'm, I'm, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm We're wait, past. I'm it's like it Heidi out. Klum shit. Yeah, I'm like, what are we We're going to get tons of Heidi Klums, okay? <laughs> Giant Heidi Klums, and cover her, bury her alive in in dirt and in, in fecal matter. You know, like uh, fertilizer is what I was looking for, not fecal matter. <laughs> We're going to cover her in fertilizer live and then let the worms go at it. So she's going to have to be in a pit of Heidi Klum worms while she can see through all of Jesus. the walls. It started Horror at movie. Joe Rogan Fear Factor, and it quickly turned to, like, ancient Persian, like, <laughs> I mean, initially torture I was, tactics. Initially, That's I was something. just going to say, like, Put a piece of plexiglass over her and like make a bunch of people poop wow, on her or something. Dude, That's what Xerxes I was gonna say. Would be but proud, dude. Next thing you know, you're it, gonna bro, include milk fun. and honey and a bunch of ants involved, and I don't even want to go. Have there. you Jesus ever heard? Christ. Speaking of milk and honey, this intrigues me. Now that we're talking about pe- plexiglass and honey. <laughs> Have you ever heard the uh, roller coaster? Uh, blah. Yes. Yeah. Which one? That's an old urban legend that that song. The part where she's where you it sounds like she's going down a roller coaster because there's like a in the background ambient noise of like a ah, like somebody's going by like screaming mm. on a roller coaster or whatever, and that is supposed to be while they were recording the music the music for roller coaster in the studio they had a stripper on a table that was like plexiglass. And she was pouring honey over her body. And the scream ah, in the background was her stepping off of the table and the honey adhering to the uh, said table. And she tried to go and ah, and that's the fucking. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's true. That, it's like an wait, urban legend. Wait, yeah, because like that would mean they were rolling audio while they had a stripper in there doing right. weird stuff. She's like, and that's weird. She's like pouring stuff, honey all dude. over, and they're like, roller coaster, roller coaster, child. Loving you is really wow. It's fake. I feel like that has to be not real, but that's the there's myths like that that go around, and that's the myth. I choose to believe it. Yeah, like I need to do some of that. Give me on some of that shit. Bro. Roller coaster. What? So, uh, were we just noting this because she's on the ultimate clout route? Uh, she's yeah, like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that's my not life a, is now clout in your hands of the year candidate. Like, if that's not, if that's not indicative of just putting your putting it all, like that's. She's got to do She's something literally crazy. literally riding first, the clout route at this point. Right. Like the, like, the clout is deciding her life. You know, this the is right. Yeah, pretty much. This is the extent that I want to talk about her, though, until she she has to prove, you know, that she's down with the with the clout. Oh yeah, route. we're just introducing a mm-hmm. villain for later in the hopefully. Season. Yeah, we're at hopefully. some point she will emerge when you least expect her as like the I ice really queen. Hope. We'll be like, oh my god. This only the only fans girl that lets her whole life be chosen by uh, 
internet guys is <laughs> doing crazy stuff. You'll never guess what the person. Maybe we should donate and get her to do something. I have a well. We're gonna have to start a Patreon then, because I have a strict like no OnlyFans rule, so I won't ever give my money. Um, it's to gonna that. involve so Steve. Will do it and a dog. Give me and money, some peanut butter, so I can give her money. Because I won't give her my. Did own you hear money. my pitch though? A dog and peanut butter, and, and Steve, Steve will, will do, do it. it. And Joe Budden. Um, and who was the other one? I don't know, but that's it's illegal. Somebody at that else. Point. It's dogs. Illegal. They love their dogs. Uh, King Cobra JFS is triggered right now because this feels awfully lot like. Uh, okay, so did you sagas. see this new trend? This new drinking trend. Now we nah. could do this right now if you want to. We'll what watch kinda, this. Okay, yeah, let's watch. And it then first. see if you want to reenact this new. I ca- what do they call it? It's the. Uh, I guess they don't have a name for it, but I'm gonna call it the, the Clout Route drinking game. Oh, okay. Let's see. Coined. Oh, well, I had to turn the music off, clearly. Da, 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 get your ass smacked. You can't hear anything but the music anyways. It's just like... Even her da, face. Da, da. She's like, but it's look weird at these people. that you asked me bah. to do that. I mean, it's weird. Like, they all do it. This must be a thing. Bap. Wah, bap. It seems to Even be... the bros. Even the hot bros. I mean, I guess they're all hot bros. This chick is a professional, though. She, like, created the thing. I've seen her in, like, three of these clips. What? But some people get beat down, dude. Oh, two shots for like, that. Like, watch one. this. Bap! Oh, I don't... What is the slap supposed to do for you? That was nothing. Oh, I didn't even see That was see, a I didn't fucking even junior. See oh, this isn't even... What is this? A body shot, and then she's gonna stare down, she's gonna get up and slap him? No, nope. that was just... Just a, a body shot. There you body go. Body shot. But that three. guy gets hauled off and... Punch. Then Ooh, she feels bad. She puts her hand. So oh, there you man. go. Rugby well, NHS seven. He invented the new claw route drinking game. Coined. Oh wow! The little slap and tickle, huh? Little I mean, we didn't. I never I... did shit like that when we drank all the time. I, we were destructive towards property, and that, my friends, is the way to be. Allegedly, don't take my advice. Whatever. Oh, I was getting hit in the head all the time at bars in college, but it was never by women, uh, and it was never. Well, I mean, it was certainly sometimes I was asking for it. Like I definitely. So got you're myself, saying? I got. I mean, I got my ass beat several times in college, but never like, hey, lady, come here. I mean, I'm also. But not you're a not guy like, like come playing a game. Like, you're I'm like weird. Like it's just all a right. weird thing. Do whoever whoever comes on this biscuit last has to eat it. Well. <laughs> Oh, you like that one? That was that's a completely different scenario. You never do that at a bar, okay? That's just with like six of your well, closest the, dude friends. And, that's the kind know. of realm. That's the realm of thing that I'm talking about here. You know, we forgot to pull up chat. We probably have people. I want candy. <coughs> we probably oh, have people chat's probably like I've played biscuit bro. cussing at us in the chat. I want candy. You want candy, <laughs> dude? But uh. <coughs> Yeah, like it's my fault, Chad. I'm we sorry didn't to get over it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't drink like like that. You know, when I drank, it was like we played beer pong, and I was destructive towards property, not <laughs> not each other. Like I didn't hurt. I didn't have Aaron, my wife, set up on like a table and be like, beat the fuck out of me after i take the shot Seriously, she might have wanted to punch. a couple of the nights when you're yelling bollocks yeah up okay. the stairs. that's Fair what enough. i that was my immediate thing like if that did happen i'd want to see you like half bottle of tequila drunk getting slapped and just screaming bollocks right back in her face <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, you. <laughs> <laughs> well you know it's happened it happens sometimes yeah, i but no that is the best of us you know, I I'm not one to kink shame, but it, but it seems it doesn't seem like it's a purely sexual in nature. So I do think it's weird to just arbitrarily out and want to get slapped. But I'm interested to know how it improves your drinking because it seems because it's not just a slap, right? It's like a cold water to the face and then a yeah. slap. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, I mean is second something- win. Yeah, is, is this it? the is this what we're talking about? It's like a second win. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I've I've I have definitely been one to go in and splash some cold water on my face and 
give it one of these. So is yeah. it like a fucking wake me up shot? Like, what's the shot? Too? Wake is it a, me up. Is it a shot of rumple mints? So you're just like, ha ha, your whole face is just cold. What's rumple mints? Is that like. It's like. Mint? It's like if windshield wiper fluid were. Oh, alcohol. that's foul. No, it is mint. Rumple yeah, it's mints. A, it's mint. Thinks like. Think like a. It reminds me of like Goldschlager or like. But. Or like Fireball, some kind of shooting oh, alcohol. Like cinnamon that's, But it's mm. not cinnamony. Instead of cinnamony, imagine toothpaste. Peppermint. Okay. It's peppermint, like fucking toothpaste. Yeah. That's foul. Gross. And it just, just like toothpaste, like you would take a shot of it and you breathe in and you could just feel it. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know what the fuck is in that stuff, but uh, probably didn't probably didn't add in years to your life. <laughs> So we're already 40 fucking minutes in. So oh, what I'm going to encourage dude. is we're going to skip most of this Three fucking hour run. Let's do it. Opening junk, junk a lunk. And we're going to go straight to our first I show speed clip. And it's yeah. a palate cleanser. So if you've been upset by the drinking game, we've got I show speed. Now, the last thing was the clout route coined the clout route drinking game so like we're the clout route is gonna rip off that drinking game mm, of course and that is now co-opted into our drinking game where we just slap the fuck out of each other while we're drinking good good okay great and then this is the clout route official dance oh so fuck. coining it now sorry i show speed i mean he's not gonna take he's not gonna take this under his wing as his official dance like Ludwig, now that he does that weird ass dance, it's called the Ludwig. They're the Lud, the Luddy. Mm. I should speed isn't going to take credit for this, but we will, as the clout route, take credit for this. This is our official dance, Kevin. No oh, man. I gotta break it up a little bit because of that music. Okay, I can do the first part where you just point. Okay. Okay. I got the steps down. Now you ready? Yeah. <laughs> you like official clot rot dance oh my god every time i think i am done laughing at this dude's goofball antics he finds a new one god i love it dude are we about to get what is that is that a cease and desist is what is it, youtube saying uh <laughs> hey uh get this sexual content this explicit content get it off your stream right now that's crazy uh, no we're good we're good i cannot believe it mm -hmm. oh. gotta love him wow well, well done sir dance of the year um, streamer of the year and dance of the year wow just 2022 this this man just will not miss so you gave me a listener submission this week and i figured we should look at it since Ooh, you sent it to me should. tell me about <laughs> what in the <laughs> he double hockey sticks are we looking on reddit <laughs> well one of our dear listeners is a uh frequenter or at least stumbled upon uh, this can. subreddit called r slash thrift store halls and that doesn't help it came at a uh time where Kanye was currently being uh, sort of uh, disavowed universally. He was losing all of his brand deals. And what I really thought, this one really took the cake for me. It I just, I, I couldn't help but laugh at this. You know it's bad when the goodwill refuses to accept your products. They won't, they will, they will not take any Yeezy products um do you want me to read it yeah if you can i can't see it from it there. says okay yeah i don't even think the fucking audience can see it so fuck it we'll switch to main cam because there's no fucking point <laughs> you can see the form you know that it's legit and it came from yeah, goodwill so this is from goodwill it says directive elevated brands yeezy from andy director of engineering blah blah retail store two retail stores and boutiques complete upon receipt okay yeah asap and it says requested actions as we strive to maintain and maintain the most up-to-date product information on elevated brands available to sell we are sensitive to the current events and take action when designers and brands do not align with our mission and rise values we are currently removing the sale of adidas yeezy brand from all channels retail stores boutiques e-commerce and outlets Effective immediately, do not send any Yeezy products to e-commerce. E-commerce will not sell any Yeezy products online. 
Stores and boutiques are immediately to remove any and all Yeezy products from shelves. Outlets are to remove any Yeezy products coming through the tipper daily. And there's that one last line, if you don't mind reading it, that oh, tells really? they, where they say how they want to uh, <laughs> handle any Yeezy donations. Yeezy and Yeezy or any product with the Yeezy brand or YZY lettering included apparel. All Yeezy products are to go straight in the trash can <laughs> in the blue bags daily when found. Do not collect <laughs> separately or in any other form. I mean, I would imagine that people would, if you get it in at this point, you're just going to take it for yourself. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. You're, selling, now, bitch. you're selling this on eBay. Uh, and for somebody sure. will somebody buy it. If Goodwill buy won't it. fucking sell it. But I just think, like, you that is just indicative, I think, of where everyone's at with Kanye when the Goodwill is too good for Kanye apparel, where they're saying, no, look, this is meant for like the people with absolute dire needs right where they can go and buy Just give it to some homeless people and shoes homeless for less people walking than, around with yeah. yeezys yeah that's what we're going to see next the salvation army said we will no longer be donating yeezys to the homeless uh that's that's gonna be the <laughs> next thing that we see it's it's <laughs> we refuse it blows my mind i honestly Using it as tender i wonder if it's yeah, right <laughs> i wonder if that's not a bridge too far almost to i'd almost rather see them mark it up or something do something like cut the yeezy tag off or something but like again this is this is for clothing for people in need so the idea of just like throwing shoes that someone could wear in the trash because some fucking psycho made them like he's not (laughs) he's not seeing any money off of goodwill selling (laughs) that item so i don't i frankly i don't understand it but it's just one of those like no one wants to be within like like the Grinch, man. They wouldn't touch him with a ten and a half foot pole at this point. Um, and it's just insane that like when Goodwill holds its nose up at you, you've done something wrong. I guess. I think. I, think. I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! By the way, you know what? I Who did say this earlier. Did We're we show t- this <laughs> on the stream? <laughs> Not yet. We mentioned it, but uh, because uh, I need to show, not the this. Oh, you me- yeah, you mentioned it, but you didn't show it. I didn't show it, yeah, no. because we were we were off screen. So we I just want to make sure everybody camera. gets. A no, taste we have to show it now after all that. Of teasing. this, yeah. I mean, it's free, it's online, and you know, boogie will make you pay for the juicy stuff. But there you go, you get a little taste. Mm, but I you love gotta that. Pay it smells. For I can smell it through the. Through my microphone, I can smell Boogie's feet, which would mean that my breath smells like Boogie's toes. So I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what that means about me. But. You said it, brother. I wasn't wanting dinner tonight anyway. Well, you won't after this because you're going to get the dinner beat the fuck out of you. And that's that's not a knock against Boogie's feet. I just think all f- I'm just not attracted to feet, okay? I think feet smell okay. like feet, and they make me not want to eat. Whatever. Right? Feetist. Yeah. I'm the fetus. Fetus the latest. Ooh, there we so go. So we'll why we'll like I'm gonna skip around these and I've got tons of clips of this fight from this Good, weekend. Because I've got some questions. Because I was afraid that some of them would get taken down. So here we go. We've got one. I mean, there's what there's no evidence to suggest that that would ever happen to this program. So we'll listen to it on mute, but check this out. So this is over the weekend. Jake Paul, who apparently is wrestling now, and we'll get into that too as this goes along. Jake Paul uh, box this weekend, right? Box. Yeah. What do I know? Someone I don't called even know that. What, what the fuck it's called? Allegedly, they, they boxed this weekend, and it's Anderson Silva, right? Yes. Famous not boxer Anderson Silva. What does he do? MMA. Yes, MMA fighter. Just like all the other guys that Jake challenges to a sport that they never played. Um, but anyway, let's continue. So, let's continue. do you think he's good enough to be like a legit? boxer no i think if he fought a real boxer that just has like 10 or 12 matches of experience against other real boxers in his weight class i think he'd get put to sleep you honestly do knock the fuck out you don't think he's actually like good at this point like no i mean it's one of those things of course he's good it's just like the worst guy in the nba would still beat you and i in one on two you know what i'm saying like of course of course he can box but we're asking if can he be a professional boxer and absolutely not you're not going to get to the level He'd have to start. He'd have to do it the way all the other pros do it, right? This isn't wrestling where like a script can help you out and five guys can bop, run bop, in. Bop. You know, like you got to fight actual boxers in order to be a pro. I mean, it, that I mean, I'm not saying that didn't look good, right? I mean, 
some of this stuff looks good. Yeah. There's guess, also yeah. people claiming that uh, it looked rigged, but I, I didn't see enough I to heard that to know too, that. but it's like, Jesus Christ, everybody has a conspiracy theory for everything these days. I'm just yeah. like, whatever. There was one one of the knockdowns where <laughs> I can see why people say that because the the blow, like he comes with a cross and like grazes his nose. Hmm. But I think it was the punch before. Like I think, I think Anderson was already stumbling from the punch before. He was already right. falling backwards. And so that second punch was just more of a icing on a cake than blah, it was blah. the knockdown punch but i would have to look more at the clip so i'm actually enjoying seeing this because i i have the seen... same one it's just kind of a different start to it yeah i don't know if that there i think there's i don't know if it's that same knockdown there's a different angle where when you see it it looks not there's one that doesn't look impressive but that one from that angle i mean yeah that so, looks good but i think again and what are the weight this classes is another on like, this like this well do they even do that because this other these, dude point. has Man. to be bigger than him right I, is he bigger? I don't know. Um, I I guess I don't know. What the fuck do I know? I don't know shit about boxing. The only reason I'm talking about this is because Jake Paul's dumbass. <laughs> which is why it's good for boxing. As much as <laughs> yeah, as much as I right? don't like boxing needs. What boxing needs is a guy with Jake Paul's personality and ability to piss people off that actually can box professional boxers. Yeah, and then the sport would be doing great. Um, what they need is that they don't need like. A s- more celebrity boxing is not going to be what saves boxing. You need, but you need what's what you need is more celebrity boxers, if that makes sense. Like you need the more UFC personalities. Is, yeah, you need more personalities. Like the UFC was like printing money when Connor was on top, right? Because yeah, we true that. I mean, I heard about it a lot more shit. then. Like yeah, we 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 love to see guys like that go down. Like we would all, I think, love to watch Jake Paul get knocked out. And that's part. I mean, of he's what getting he's to that money. point. Yeah, yeah. It's getting to the point where people are either. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I hear a lot of positivity about him. To be honest, fair. Okay. I hear a lot Let's of people say, like, you know, oh, I thought he was a joke at first, and like, most people concede the point that he hasn't actually boxed anybody like legitimate, like you were saying. But I feel like a lot of people come around to the fact that, like, he can do it, I guess. They think that he's capable. Sure. Which, again, so, I can concede that much. Sure. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm even... I don't know if I'm even concerned to see him fight anybody that matters because they don't have it. Like, who? Like Joe Schmo, you know what I mean? Yeah, who's the like at least that Anderson Silva is like okay, that's a guy that did a thing. You, he's a name. See that? Yeah, fair. My thing is if Jake would just start, if he would be willing to fight a couple of guys who are just guys, but they're full time boxers, then all of a sudden Jake is still the name, right? Like, yes, he'd have smaller paydays. Like, there would be a couple of these maybe that not as many people would watch. <coughs> right. But people are there. If Anderson Silva boxed another former MMA guy, unless he was a really big name guy, not as many people are watching Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva, Anderson, Anderson Silva fight <laughs> another washed MMA dude. They're here to watch Jake Paul. It's a bonus to right. have someone who's a legitimate fighter. Yeah. But at the same time, you can, a legitimate fighter with a big name. But at the same time, I think you could still draw money fighting legitimate boxers, and then you do that three or four times, and then now all it takes is a guy with a good record because Jake right. Paul is the fucking draw here. So just get guys whose records you, look good, who you can – anybody – there are so many editors in the world today that can make a guy look good for 30 seconds in a promo video. So I don't Do know. you dig his, uh, his swag? His peacock shorts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a thing? I think that's what I mean. There are white peacocks, so I'm guessing that's exactly well, I mean, what I mean. Like, doing. is this a thing that like somebody's done? Oh, like, dude, oh yeah, peacock shorts and then. Oh yeah, dude. People okay. do lace. They do like the little curtain look. Yeah, he's no, um, he's not, uh, he's no trendsetter in that regard. Okay. Uh, it's very, it's very much the tactic of the guy who is kind of again to borrow from wrestling. He's kind of leaning into his heel personality. Like oh, he's, okay. you know, enough. trying to, you know, he's his, he's on his clubber lang, so to speak, to put it in Rocky terms. And so oh, okay. this is something there's like the, the bad guy persona. <laughs> Some somebody out there that's old gets what I'm saying. No, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, <laughs> that makes more. I at least know that reference. <laughs> um, So, yeah, I guess he fucking whooped his ass. So people are talking Allegedly. about that. That's a big talk. 
Um, see him fight. Who's the next retired guy he fights? Let us know in the chat. Well, running, who I, knows? I, he might not. He might go because he's got a lot of other shit going the on. The double double because e. off. Oh, oh. <laughs> wake up, everybody! Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> they max volume this one. Hey, baby, you get a little blip of that. Yeah, that's the beauty of a live show. But uh, offering him the fight, and he's not taking it. He obviously doesn't want to box. A <laughs> four time world champ kickboxer. Four time world champ kickboxer doesn't want to box. This is what he's saying. Boxer is afraid of a YouTuber with no, with no wins. So I, I, I don't know if this music is going to get us. That's why I'm kind of chopping it chopping up here a little bit. Sense. He's got some kind of boo doo 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 in the background. So, anyways, <laughs> what he said so far basically is that he. Okay. He wants to fight. I'm offering the fight. He's not taking it. A four time kickboxer is afraid to fucking blah, blah, blah. So he's got a solution. Here you go. Why don't we do something that both of us have never done? Let okay. No, let's do it. Let us yeah. step into the fucking octagon, brother. Now, Who is that, dude? I mean, I don't want to make any. <laughs> I don't. I'm not making a joke. I'm not making the joke. I won't say it. Out of respect. R.I.P. To the oh, real one. Oh, god damn it. Because this bad. guy's definitely uh, ripping off somebody's fucking style if you didn't catch my drift, okay? Okay, it's not him. I was like, god damn it. <laughs> for a you second, actually I, thought it for was For a second, him. I did, but then I know I looked at the face and I'm like, okay, we're good. I was like, dude, you got... Oh, man, I just, <laughs> I just swan, swan diving into some dung right there. Like, oh, god. So... Be the internet's villain for the day. If you didn't catch it from me pausing, playing, all that bullshit, and then that interaction there at the end he is challenging andrew tate to a mma fight well fuck i know about mma bro but the interesting boxer. thing is is that i guess that's happening uh cool it's fucking happening I'm fucking alpha male bro i do fucking kickboxing i do fucking mma I do fucking scams i do fucking forex bro wow dude he changed his profile pic okay so who is that? Let me tell you off the rip, this is fucking Andrew Tate's uh like alt account. He's banned on not Twitter. Andrew Tate. He's banned on Twitter, so yeah, this is how he's like on Twitter right now. And look, yeah, he set this fucking goober as his profile pic. What the fuck's the point of that? So it doesn't look like it's him. Well, you know? his pics right at the top are his fucking fat nipples hanging out. <laughs> The Tate nipples. Nippies. What a setup. What a what a rig. So, anyways. I wonder if I am. Everyone should know the truth. Logan Paul. My statement on fighting Logan Paul. Nothing is more important to Logan Paul than being liked and talked about. He fears and walks away from any real challenge and continues to play fight in WWE. If he keeps using my he he name for headlines and try to further his relevancy, however... He knows that my skills and expertise in any ring are unmatched by him. <laughs> Ooh. His brother Not Jake, ring. I don't know. even though we haven't seen eye to eye, has been changing the boxing industry for the better. So even lower below where he's like, your brother's doing shit. You, on the other hand, is a scrub. You're a scrub, Logan Paul. Logan Paul has no purpose. If the terms are fair in both parties, I will fight Logan in the cage and destroy him. Oh, them's fighting words. I mean, yeah. Literally. I mean, and uh, spoiler, Logan Paul has came out and said, Nah, bro, I'm good. No, that they're doing it. Ooh, like, let's go. Thing. Let's do it, brother. So, confirmed it with his mutual contact. It's time for Logan to pay the price. These two idiots I promised are us I would fight him for free, and I meant it. So, this is the other twist. He can fly to Romania and knock on my door any day of the week and get the living oh, fuck kicked out of him. When I said fight, I didn't mean sport. If he recovers, he can t continue to live in his brother's shadow where he belongs. Andrew Tate, a.k.a. Top G. I love how he went through the like, yeah, of course I'll fight him. But what I really meant was he can come to Romania and fight me in my front yard. I'm not going to fight him in a, yeah, of course he wouldn't really fight him. That's no. right. But he's going to, I guess. I guess it's supposed to be a real thing, but... We already spoiled it, it kind of at the top, but here you go. Oh, Jakey. Jakey Jake is now up in Saudi Arabia. Tag teaming in Saudi Arabia, I guess. Yeah. So they, 
he played a role in the finale. He showed up to have Logan's back. Um, it's kind of. Kind of dumb. Um, he had one good-looking fake punch to knock out one of the two world champions, and then the second one was very, very. D- I mean, he, uh, he, you know, the yeah, it was just not great. It was not <laughs> great. You could tell that it was a work, which is the whole point. Is you're not it's supposed to be, you're not supposed to be able to tell that it's a work, brother. God damn it! We talk about this every week. God damn it! Here on Infowars, we tell you what's <laughs> real fake. Did and you this know shit that the is world- a op. Yeah, I saw a video in 1942 exposing wrestling as a work, and I still can't believe there were people for 50 years after that that believed it was real. But yeah, here we are. Um, people and- still believe that 9/11 was real. Oh. I'm not an inside job. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? In what Minecraft? apology tweet am I gonna have to fucking make now? You were both gonna have to be. Uh, what, dude? I'm just talking about the chemtrails and just don't Megan share, the Frog's gay. Just don't screenshot any Amazon movies that you find about this because they're gonna that's put, a really big issue. Don't they're do going to put the little... They're going to... Uh-oh, we're getting live DMs. Uh-oh. They're going to put the little tag Shut underneath up. our live stream that says like... <laughs> <laughs> they're, yeah, they're going to send a little thing during our live stream and say, like, misinformation, visit COVID.org. To, to find get... out more about yeah. Tower 7, click here. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So, yeah, and like I was saying earlier, the only thing that's going to be better with this is if they get Dad involved. Daddy-O, Greg, right? GP coming at you. Yeah. He already has, like, a dumbass personality kind of thing going yeah then it's a triple threat it's like it's a six dad. man tag dads no what's gonna happen if dad gets involved yeah they're gonna like it's gonna be the the other guys are gonna beat the shit out of him for sympathy could you imagine that trying to beat up greg paul to get the audience <laughs> sympathy like <laughs> everybody's gonna be like you. yeah beat his ass <laughs> <laughs> my question is what other what other three-man team could we get against the paul brothers and dad Mm-hmm. That would work. Like, you know. There's actually, I mean. Oh, I oh, wonder if okay, okay. Deji and KSI's dad is alive. Ooh, there could be a war. Yeah. Maybe they've Even got if a he's kick- not, bring him out the fucking grave. It's drama. Maybe a cousin. There's somebody they could, you know, shit. Or that's where you got a cousin. Work, yeah. They work could Tate work. into this. So, yeah. So, Tate, KSI, and Deji. Yeah. Well, yeah, see, they, they, they would probably to agree to that stuff. because they'd be like. Oh, well, yeah, you need all that on your team. My dad's good enough. He'll be Andy yeah. Tate's ass. Yeah. <laughs> these guys, I mean, these guys would be made for this. The only problem is, is like, their reality is too much like wrestling. Like, they, everything, their online personas are already too much of a work right. that they wouldn't be able to, to go in and do this because it would then uh, probably undermine a lot of the fiction they're already weaving in order to get a, in, an online audience. So, but it would be, I, I would watch. Only children are convinced that these guys are like not. They're ops, brother. Yeah, they're ops. They're yeah. set up. I mean, they're plans, all brother. like, yeah. a Disney. He's a Disney star. This this punk with the tattoos was on Disney Channel. Has there ever been a Disney Channel? I think he just came to Vine star turn WWE wrestler. No, it usually goes the other way around. There you go. What? Yeah, look at John Cena and The Rock. They make some child ass uh, movies. Look at Hulk Hogan. Okay, okay, okay. It's usually, I thought you were saying it's, like no, were... it's usually a bunch of children <laughs> like you because you're the big muscle man on TV, and yeah. then they're like, "Well, then naturally, let's put you in children's movies and make okay. you the big superhero." And you're like Daddy Daycare. Yeah, exactly. Daddy Daycare, the Tooth Fairy. Remember that shit? The oh Rock my as the Tooth Fairy. How horrible is that? I don't know. I would never would watch that. Me either. I, I would have never heard watch horrible that. things. So now we might spooky, get to some spooky. quick routes. The Ooh, first time. quick route that I want to show you, it can't be halftime. So okay. let me show you and then halftime. Yeah, is that, there we is go. that yeah, yeah. illegal? You'll want to escape quickly after I show you this. Oh, good. We're going to look at this quick route. Then we're going to go back because we've got a lot of Halloween, Halloween. aftermaths, like costumes to rate, which I think is going to be fun. Post Halloween special. But uh, Don Jr., dude. Okay, so I made a Spooky. short about this the other day. <coughs> Don Jr. and his uh, new voting habits, but I just wanted to show you this clip really quick. He looks really sad. I mean, he always looks sad. That's just his life. 
But uh, listen here. All right, guys, I may have to start voting Meteor 2022. Just take us out at this point because this is getting insane. Oh, that's an old meme, dude. That joke was funny in 2016. Oh, my God. Uh, update your fucking timeline, dude. Your jokes are six years old. He's got his dad Literally, down to the point. My my 2016 Meteor campaign T-shirt is so outdated and faded. I can't even wear it you anymore because really? you can't see the print. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is an old joke. <laughs> <Huh>. Jesus, <laughs> my God, recycled material. Never, not never one original thought with this well, guy. He can't even. He really doesn't have even have an original thought. thought. Look, I mean, look, he's 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 his dad right I now. I don't even. I can't even think for myself. My dad wipes my own ass. I tell you right now, <laughs> I'm voting for media today, today, today because I, we make the best media here. Oh we make God! The best. Oh, Fucking a. God. What is he crying about? That's it. I mean, that's he just what I want. He identifies as a meteor. Is that his joke now? <laughs> I identify as a meteor. Huh? My pronouns are meteor and meteor shower. I'm gonna cry. I'm oh, sorry. I mean. That's you it. can pull up a. You can go pee now. Yeah, cool. All right, sweet. That's all Don deserves. But I thought that was an interesting. Uh, I'm voting Meteor. I'm not voting Donald Trump this time around because uh, if my dad has to be president again, I just might as well kill my fucking self <laughs> in Minecraft. I might as well kiss myself in Minecraft. Kiss myself all over. All right, folks. So while we have the uh, seat open, we'll just admire. Boogie's feet for a second. I just want everyone to take that in a little bit to start the spooky costume segment. So, yeah, last week was our uh, Halloween episode. We dressed up. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I was uh, uh, Nikki Rachita, uh, YouTube lawyer extraordinaire, redneck. I hope you guys appreciated that, and I hope that didn't, uh, you know... I don't want somebody to think that, you know, their lifestyle is my Halloween costume or something. So if there were any white trash folk or trailer trash adjacent that were upset about my redneck lawyer outfit. Well, don't be too upset because there are there's no such thing as a redneck lawyer. So not a real thing. Rednecks don't become lawyers. If you're f statistically and their numbers support it, there's never been a lawyer from Kentucky. Mm. Ever. The and, more you know. the, and worm people, Heidi Klum worm people come from Kentucky as well. They come from the mud. And we usually shoot them dead on site worms. As soon as they come out, they're like, it's like aliens. You know, we take them out. We know better. But somehow one of them crawled out and crawled into a suit and now is Mitch McConnell because he fucking looks exactly like that costume. And we'll get to oh, it. Yeah. It's a Mitch McConnell costume, actually. But anyways, I check see, out man. Tyler, the creator and his Halloween extravaganza that he had. Come on. I want you to do it. <laughs> That's that's what we're getting into here. I love the creator. <laughs> Tyler, you are my favorite rapper in the world. You look beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, no. This is top tier. That is that top tier? Uh, that's pretty top tier. You enjoy that? Get out of the car. Ah! Oh, Jesus. I mean, that's, he goes... Now Full end character. Dude. Now it's too fun. At this point, that's all right. All right. Now I'm driving off. I'm tired of the creator because this guy's getting, uh, he's too friendly. Uh, he's too friendly. So, you know, not too he's spooky too at close, the top. man. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I mean, don't let me ruin, don't let me ruin your costumes here, folks. But I think Joker is just like a lazy costume. I feel like it's a lot of so work. Is, so is, so is. Nikki Rachita, redneck lawyer. That's a that's a lazy costume say, dude, too. I went as Heisenberg. But I mean, yeah. But I really wanted that. I wasn't going to a party or anything. I feel like if I was 
if it was party time, I invest in my costume. Oh, so if it's just me here, it's not a party. If it's just okay. you here, it's, it's just not a party. Me it's just and and chat. What do they call it? And whoever that weird dude cosplaying as Michael Myers was last week, then it's not a party. But okay, I get it. I, get I mean, we have okay. creepy people in okay. the chat okay. that that talk about the things. Hey, that at they least do. you didn't get porn spammers in your chat. That happened to me on Thursday. Oh God, yeah, that happened to me Thursday. That's kind of cool though. Yeah. I wish yeah, they would say that. Like for hot hookups, click here. Yeah. That's, That's what right. you, you have to have like chat right. moderators for, bro. Yeah, I can, can't afford that. You're getting big. Can't getting too big it, for your yeah. britches. <laughs> so, speaking of... <laughs> That's uh, what the porn bot said. Mitch McConnell. <laughs> hey! Here's a nice pick. So, this is just like... so. I mean, obviously, she does this Halloween thing every year. So, like, she had somebody design this costume for her and everything. It's her thing to dress up to every year. crazy... But this photo op is hilarious to me. Dude, has anyone has anyone photoshopped that with but as Joe Rogan instead? (laughs) I'm sure. Yeah, no, no doubt. Isn't it so funny though, just to see her like laying on the ground like that (laughs) with the mic up? So weird. But here we go. So I just want to give you give the audience a little more of Heidi Klum. Oh no! I've got a short here that has. Some oh, it went away. Oops, some moving action. You can't see it because of our dumb oh, ass. Oh, God. Ooh, it's... Yeah, that's that's freaky. Why does... Why? Why? It's it's bad. You can yeah. see it moving around on the ground here. What? How scuffed is that? Fuck you, Good Morning America, and your dumb fucking <laughs> video. But she rolled around on the ground and shit in that outfit, dude. <laughs> This fucking and had somebody and had like a puppeteer working a string so that her tail would here. I'll pull us up full screen and see if I can scroll down and find the video on Twitter somewhere. I just don't want to accidentally run into like yeah, like some weird shit like that. Look, there's a girl getting hit in the face with a baseball bat. Actually, I didn't click on it. That's why it didn't go. Or did I? I am. I'm under it. it. No, these are the replies. They just don't make sense. There's a some (laughs) girl pulling her shorts up on a TikTok. Ah, wet painters episode. What? Uh, Metaverse is canceled because a guy's screwing somebody on. Uh, <laughs> Can we show that on? Yes. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, whoever's TikTok this is, good on good on you. We just found some accidental content. Now, this is underneath Heidi Klum worm picture, by the way. And this is why I was tripping out about like what the fuck I must not have clicked on it this because is why look. Ch- uh, what do you want to do for dinner? Rail. Yeah, well, it's a little loud. So this guy's pumping the air. Come here and uh, see, what, see what Brian's doing. And then I, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, Good on you. Joke. Good one. I like Who's it. Who's that? Jordy two D underscore. Shouts out. So uh, let's keep continue. We've got we're on a celebrity costume roll. Heidi Klum in the worm. So far, she's in the lead, right? Gotta I would be. say definitely better than the Joker outfit for sure. Yep. How about Justin Bieber as guy? Yeah, what is what? Is I don't he? know. I don't know. What, what is, is it supposed, supposed to, be? to be? Justin Bieber shares his Halloween costume. If you scroll down, it starts to get, you know, obscene. But yeah. What? There you is go. The, is that is he in a skirt? A is that a skirt? I think it's probably like a skirt, like a kilt, probably oh, well, kind of deal. So is he? You think he's like doing that? He's like, oh look at me, I'm in a skirt. Oh, is so he being like a goth me? girl? Is that what? I don't know. I see you now. He's now a now tipster like e girl <laughs> for Halloween. He's a tipster e girl. A tipster e girl <laughs> Halloween costume. <laughs> Amazing bet. Uh, Justin Bieber is a tipster fan. That's weird. <laughs> Yeah, and I, d- I don't know what the goal was, but if it's cool, if it's a cool thing now to just like wear random clothes that you normally wouldn't wear, and that's your Halloween costume, yeah. I am all about that. It's gonna make life a lot easier, right? Just I don't start have to hit the yeah, thrift right? store every year. <laughs> uh, Megan the Stallion definitely didn't hit the thrift store this year. Now I don't know if you're a fan of My Hero Academia. You're mm-hmm. aware of what it is? I I've heard anime. the name. I will I will I won't recognize this costume. Probably. Well, it's anime. You won't, but. She went out of her way to make herself look like here's the regular character. Okay. M- Mir- Mirka or something is the character's name. Like a bunny rabbit. And boom. 
Megan the Stallion coming out with like the whole get up. Wow. Made it into like a Pokemon card. Like look check it out, dude. Wow. Mirko. Da, da, da. Put the work in. Even has go. like the toe like the like on her shoes. Like if you see she's got some like you can even see the buckle on it. Like she's got those things over her shoes to make it look Pretty like cool. she's got the rabbit's feet. I guess that's a rabbit, right? Rabbit's feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, damn. Well done. That's an A plus costume for sure. I, I feel that's, it. that's like cosplay worthy. You could go to a con and Definitely. just blow people away with one of those. Good, good so one. my wife sent me this one, and I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry Washington is Lionel Richie. That's pretty good. Now we'll tease a little bit of. Oh yeah, it definitely. Go definitely check this posed. out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that that's pretty good. good. I like that. I like that, and it's simple too. That's what we're talking about. That's another. That's another thriftable one. You know, that you is know. a thriftable one for yeah, sure. I guess maybe. I mean, maybe if you're the wig, you couldn't get it a thrift. If you're Kerry Washington, now we aren't thriftable have have on this costume because yeah. I'd have to go. At, you know, I'd have to hit up Nick Rakita for some fucking blackface paint. Ooh, yeah. No, see, I wouldn't you know. do it. I would just let people. Be- let people think I was Mr. Rogers. I'd go with like a red sweater. And you could be uh, not put the mustache on. Oh, there we go. You Bob could Ross. be Bob Ross. Oh yeah, yeah. I got yeah. I can pull that off. Did you a wig. S- did you see Elon's costume? I was puzzled. You, you mean he put on a different one? Uh, yeah, a different. You're not one. talking about the human a suit he day. wears. Every right. Day. Well, I don't know. Is this? Oh wow. I never know. So like. Is real Elon the one that's in shape, and then the clone is the one with the weird Captain America? I think there's just like, multiple of them. Chest, because there's like, just multiple ones walking. This around. This dude never looks the same two pictures in a row. Like and body I can't type figure wise, it out. yeah. Like the dude with the Captain America tits we saw on a boat does not fit into that chainmail shit that he's wearing right now. Like he just wouldn't. There's a he, different angle. How, how is he stuffing? His, Which nice phone, dude! That. Like, why don't you get a case for your phone? It looks like you fucking dropped that thing. Ew! Aren't you re- rich enough to get a fucking f- nice phone, you shithead? But anyway, and, and people are mad because he's got like a hail a, Satan on yeah, it. Yeah, he's got Baphomet in the center of his thingy, huh? That's uh, what is this? Have you have any idea? Like, no. what did he dress up as? Like a like a fucking it, it's like an Elden Ring cosplay. Yeah, or something. I, don't, I don't know. Like it looks like he's standing next to Cruella Deville. On <laughs> this the is right. his mom or something. One of these is his mom. <laughs> the lady on the left um, looks like she <laughs> was Ew. one of the agents in Stranger Things. Maybe, maybe like a Men in Black. A Blues person. Brother. <laughs> yeah, Blues Brother. <laughs> Again, it's yeah, it's just going in. Co- the, that's the costume this year. Just dress as not yourself. And Elon took it a step too far. And he's like, I always love playing uh, Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Uh, I find the uh, I find that the uh, moral dilemmas of playing as a negative, a chaotic negative character it really suits my personality. So yeah, he's just. I'm often a spellcaster uh, <laughs> because you know I'm a I'm a deep thinker and I think that uh, modern problems call for uh, spelling casting uh, solutions. I think you're think. actually correct though. It's like. Every other day of the year is the costume, and today he took the mask off. Yeah, and today like, he just got to wear his his get his around me wizards clothes. and warlocks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what this is actually what fuck? he wears in hell during his day job. And then, so, yeah, Elon Musk clearly has the coolest outfit so far, but he's about to. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to. Uh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> if you didn't catch that, he's about to be one upped by Dream and his costume. Look what he went as this year. I don't need a Halloween costume. My face reveal was scary enough. Hey, he's owning the joke. Um, uh, I'm looking more and more like Shane Dawson every day, huh? Yeah, you kind of acting more and more like Shane Dawson. Mm-hmm. I hope not. I hope that's not a thing. I don't know if he I has like cats. Re- I would lock them up. Yeah, his face him reveals. Up. Getting, lock him up if, they, if he has cats, because you know, that if he has cats, you know what he's done. So lock him up if he has cats. I just don't lock those poor kitties up. Let them go. Let the kitties be free. Dream should be locked up. You know who else should be locked up? Well, uh, yes. Matt Walsh and whoever's fucking parents. Whoever the parents are, this fucking poor kid that has to carry around a what is a woman 
I mean, this child has absolutely no fucking idea what is going on. Actually, the kid looks terrified this in the costume. Bad. And, uh, yep, this would be grooming, if you ask me. Either so I mean, yeah, no matter what, I think this is bullshit um, to the kids this small. Like, keep your politics out. Like, they're children. They're not your political Yeah, props. like, what the fuck is this? It's not... This is no fun for your kid. It's a joke completely only for the person behind the camera. Yeah. Because nobody else laughed at this. And to be fair. Somebody thought it was funny that took the video. I would be just as mad if someone put their daughter in a white tax the rich dress and had her trotting around. Uh, Like, I don't care what your political identity is here. It is not uh, oh. your children's job to if be I a fucking billboard for it. If I dress my kid up as AOC, you would be mad. I would be mad because that's not. I would have. I would have the exact same critique. That's all I'm saying. I don't care what your politics are. That's a fucking like three year old child. There's a time and a place. You still let honestly. These... I even think it's different if if they were like my kid went as Matt Walsh, because if you say like I'm oh I dress my kid up as Matt Walsh, it's like what the fuck ever. You dress them up like, I mean, people dress <coughs> a person. Sure, whatever. yeah, you dress up like a person, but the <coughs> the necklace takes it a step further. I feel like <coughs> because <coughs> we already got it that you're fucking Matt Walsh costume, but then you've got to involve his dumb movie in it or whatever. That's basically a bashing of trans people and their whole fucking thing. So. No, I think that you're basically grooming your child. That's what this is. If you want to talk about how, you know, any mention of, you know, sexual orientation at some age, you know, whatever, is sin, then this is sin too. Why do you have your kid talking about what is a woman? I don't think your kid has any concept of that. And don't be pressing your ideas of it on them. You know, you're grooming your child. Am I right or am I wrong? I groom. I don't like the word grooming because I think it's just doubling down on an already shitty take in the first place. But I agree that um, <laughs> I agree to finish my thought. I was just saying your children are not their their children. A allow them to have their own identity and their own beliefs. Don't mm-hmm. put that shit on them. Yeah, for sure. And at this age, you still tell them that Santa Claus is real. Um, so you're allowing them to be children. Uh, so don't put your adult you know political philosophies onto them and they damn sure are not a fucking billboard for your ideals they are their own growing person they should be allowed to grow into whatever person they want to be Mm -hmm. and you rob them of that when you start to just put ideas into their head at this age now i think grooming is a gross i truly i truly i mean like grooming should be i use grooming because it was a term used Unappro- like inappropriately by the other by Republicans would say something like that. I mean, they have explicitly people like Matt Walsh have went on and said that right. on even discussing, you know, whether your your child says that, you know, they like boys or whatever. Your boy says that he likes boys or your girl says that she likes to dress like a boy or whatever the fuck. I mean, I'm not going to get into the details of it all, but. Matt Walsh would sit there and say that me having a conversation like that with my child or even something like we've talked about before, Keffels talking to 16, 17, 18-year-old kids that are going through transitions and shit or trying to deal with it, you know. He would say that that is grooming too. I'm pretty sure he has. Right, which is wrong. And that's what what I'm saying. It's fucked up. So when I say that, that was why I'm not, I I don't literally think that they're grooming. I'm using fighting fire with fire kind of thing. I guess it's a good thing to clarify. I think you're correct that it is a, well, it's a poisonous term, anyways. It's like, you're not even using it correctly. Yeah, don't water down that term. There are certain terms like we should let them mean what they mean because that's some very serious stuff. And it needs, like, it's stuff we need to get. Like when we see it, we need to put a stop to it immediately. So also, what up hello. out there in chat? What up, <laughs> Zulish Gazarian? I apologize, I can't read. So if I said it wrong, <laughs> isn't that like uh, uh, Ghostbusters or something? Am I wrong? I don't. Know. There is no Dana, only Zul. <laughs> okay, so Ethan Klein. I know you're not a fan, but check out his costume, bro. <gasps> 
I mean, pretty wow. good, dude. Very anti-Semitic, I'd have to say, but... Is it? <laughs> I'm just... I was like, what? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> but he kept, like, burping up, fucking... He must have, like, pills or something that he's popping. <laughs> And he keeps like bur- burping up bile during the podcast. <laughs> if you have never seen this movie, like he He's a dead ringer. He, isn't he? Oh, spot on. He gets professional. You said it right the first time. So he's hundred yes. <laughs> percent OG Ghostbusters. That's what I thought. There we go. Oh my god. But yeah, I mean, Dude, check I... this out. Which uh Batman film was this? I forget. This is Who Batman is Returns. This is a Tim Burton Batman. Tim Burton one, yeah. Um, so that is, you know, one of the first times Danny DeVito <laughs> got paid to just gargle shit and spill it out of the front of his mouth. He's the pr- he's the best. There's no one better. Yeah. Although Ethan Ethan uh Wow. God damn, you could literally like if you did a sequel of Batman Returns, you could cast Ethan Klein at this point. To Pretty good. Look, his so his good. fucking Shit is keying out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> while we're while we're here to take our oh fuck, I can't do it. Uh-oh. But I wanted to show. I was gonna pull up Keemstar and give our little thirty oh, yeah. second like Keemstar off ramp because I wanted to compare their costumes because he dressed up like some hair band fucking bullshit, which. Uh, I think he went and found a wig and then did what you said and like got something out of his closet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's the move. So, that's the move. Whatever. Especially with Stranger Things being popular right now. You can just go, you can just dress <laughs> right, as yeah, uh, Eddie. Put on a yeah. button up shirt and I'm fucking blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, you go do pull the all the gym from the office and just put a hi, my name is and just right. put hi, I'm Ted. Exactly. Uh, we're doing a we're doing a throwback to an old podcast today. <laughs> yeah. I'm Dan. Have you met Ted? Uh. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, uh, Salvo Pancakes. If you're not familiar, if he didn't internet, go as Charlie. Internet Kelly. sensation. I'm so mad. Check out his uh, Halloween costume from this weekend. Uh, here you go. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> you set me up for that, you bastard. Oh, damn, dude. I was really Saba hoping. Pancakes, banned on his other account. I damn. was hoping he was going to have the little red tie, you know, like Charlie when he has the Pepe Sylvia and he's like, Pepe, Pepe. <laughs> right. Like, nope. that, come on, Salvo. I'm telling nope. you, man, that's your Halloween costume. Nope. He's banned. Haha. <laughs> man. Uh, Did oh you do gosh. it? Was it you? This one might be. So this one, yeah, right. You always, it's always you. Not every, me. Every time anyone gets banned and you laugh about it, they're yeah, like, you, "God it. damn it, you did this, didn't you?" I did it. <laughs> it's the deep plot here. The plot thickens. I've been banning Salvo Pancakes the entire time. <laughs> but uh, I would have gotten away with it too. This one might be. I might have went too hard with this joke, but uh, Rakita Law sends his son trick or treating alone, and I feel like this is not good to do to your children. Why would you send your child trick or treating alone like this? No way. Ricky the Law. That's not real. That he didn't. Re- that's not really him, right? That's somebody else made that really. Poor I'm joking life because Ricky the Law did the basketball player blackface thing, and now we've got Jordan. Somebody sends their kid out as Jordan. Oh. Now the only way, right? Yeah. What the fuck? The like. You, you as the that. parent can't go with your kid <laughs> you <do. laughs> if you do this. Like this is this is a good out to not <laughs> to not follow your kid around for trick or treat. Like was this a prank? Like, All right, did, go kid. Has little Timmy been being a shit at school, and so Dad's like, I'm gonna teach him a lesson, and he's just hanging back. With oh him. my god! How would you do this? Like the funny thing is, is does the kid? I mean. It's also just a horrible makeup job. If we can just talk about, the, I like, mean, it's didn't even get all the way down to this. In every single, <laughs> obviously, you're gonna do it something so grotesque. At least, like, do a decent job of it, right? No, yeah, no, that's my dad not said. Here. My dad always said, you know, if you're gonna do a job, you might as well do it right. Yeah, no half measures. And his uh, dad was Mike Ermintrout. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow, I. He he got shot in the this in the is, belly and died this, down by the river. Is this worse than the dude who took his son to a Browns game with like uh, Deshaun Watson massage table uh, joke and they like took a picture together? Is this what? worse? What's what's worse, joking blackface this? or making jokes about sexual assault with your so child? He, what, you his child what? There's a photo like I think opening week the Cleveland Browns. It's like a okay. dad and I can't remember 
if if they had props or if it was just like they were wearing t-shirts that said like give me a massage bitch or something like that and and like they're holding towels so like they had some props i can't remember how propped up they were but it was literally like <laughs> this dude took his not teenage son with him and they took photos together. Like, <laughs> we're making <laughs> jokes, brother, about this thing. Ain't this That's great, so fucked son? Up, You're going to remember this for the rest of your life. Yeah. And so will Twitter. All right. Well, let's move on from the black face here and go to yellow face. How about that? You like yellow face? I, w- I prefer to stick with costumes where I don't have to uh, paint, your paint face? my face. And if I. Oh, Check that out, though. This is uh, Cardi B as that's really well done. Marge, dude. That's, that's good. <laughs> you like that? You like that unpause time? That good was, timing. You have such a big dick. No, that's not what she said. Was it? <laughs> I, I thought said, that's I what she said. said. You have such a big dick. I thought you said I'm such a big fan. <laughs> no, you were right. <laughs> such a big dick. Thank you, by the way, Marge. Is that why that guy came out of the hallway? I was like, but I mean, this is a good, this it. is a good uh, pause here. She's got, per- this is spot on shit, dude. Wow, looking great costume. Yeah, I still, I still don't know if anything beats the worm. Is that a tattoo on her leg? I, right, yeah, she's got like a whole, whole tatted up right hip there. I'm guessing, right? That's got interesting. Be what that is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, good, good catch. There. When you get a little closer, you can kind of tell. But you can see that she has some like here definitely has some tats covered up. But yeah, yeah. It, interesting. Wow. That might have been just too. That's a whole. I, I guess solid I take it black. back. I guess I guess if it's Simpsons yellow face, then it's I fine. think you're probably okay. Okay, yeah. fair enough. I like that. But I don't make those rules. So if I get canceled tomorrow, I'm sorry, Danny. I didn't know. Okay, so I asked you before if you knew who Ice Spice was. I'm unaware. So it shows how much of a boomer. I guess I am now. Yeah, I think you can boomer, order it as a venti at Starbucks, I believe. But right. only in October. <laughs> so I the only ice spice I'm familiar with is at the coffee shop, okay? Uh-huh. But everybody went as ice spice this year for Halloween, I guess. And by God, when I saw the costumes, I was like, well. I get it, right? What you're going to do? Ice spice. So 24K golden <laughs> and Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. <laughs> Went out as Ice Spice and like, wow. Well, 24K Gold, not well done. He's got the suck so my <laughs> dick boxers going on, which he took a liberty there because there's no boxers in this. So I you will say that he took some liberties there, but I like the suck my dick boxers. And I think he got that wigs from a little orphan Annie costume. It has <laughs> to be. He definitely has the most <laughs> bunk ass wig. I will say that. If we're talking quality, if we're talking quality, 24K Golden, you know, he added his own flair, but maybe the lowest quality. Yeah. But when we're talking, I don't know who Ice Spice <laughs> I, is. Yeah, I didn't me either. either. That's what I I'm didn't saying. either. But, uh, <laughs> but Lil Nas X, however, I mean, he might have Full upgraded. Commitment. Full commitment. And down to the shorts. Let's not, let's not discount the shorts either. Yeah, he, he might be hotter than Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> and and he went full on with the cutoffs, did the nails and everything. I mean, ten out of ten. I'm still. This isn't going to crack my top three of the ones that we've seen. Yeah, just because uh, there are you ones that, that were is. that were accurate that I also <laughs> know who they are. But right. I mean, I can't I can't knock the effort here by Lil Nas X, and and I'm not I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Lil Nas X always doing it good, dude. Always, I love Lil always Nas X. hitting dingers. That guy. Um. Okay. So how about? Kevin Hart. Now, I'm not a fan of Kevin Hart. I will have to say, not a fan of Kevin Hart. But the costume here might be into it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Now, way to go, dude. <laughs> way See, to lean into it. Short yeah, King. I do love he makes the. I do. He loves to lean into his short jokes. Yeah. Um, that that's a great. That's a great freaking costume. Man. It is good. I like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, and I don't hate. As a Game of Thrones fan, especially, I love that. <laughs> I hope he got as drunk as Tyrion does because you'd need to after and wear that fucking costume out somewhere. Dude, I wonder how many people mistook him for uh, the guy from Shrek, Lord Farquaad. <laughs> he is <laughs> like if he was white, he would be probably it's pinged like, it's as like the Lord bowl Farquaad. Cut hair, you know. Like, yeah. 
Tyrion has, I think, just more of a... It's just something about his hair just screams uh, Lord Farquaad to me. <laughs> All he would need is the little hat, and he could just he could just transition from I, the two characters. I wonder if he gets this, like, custom-made, or if, like, this is a Tyrion outfit you can I, just I buy I've for expensive. I've wondered that, too. Like, what do rich people do for Halloween? Like, they, if I'm rich, I'm pulling the Adam Scott in the Parks and Rec, and I'm buying, like... An authentic Batman, like with the right. fake nipples. Yeah, and I the, want like a designer. Yeah, to do like, it. and I'm and I'm just doing that for Halloween forever, and just sneaking around being an idiot. And people catching me in in alleys, like, what is this fucking dude doing? <laughs> so uh, you just want to be Batman? I would just want to be Batman. Yeah, I might I might shake it up and buy some <laughs> other costumes, but I would buy just like whatever was it. I'd go out and buy like I a want real... ba- I want a Batman suit, not for Halloween. I just want to be Batman. Like, you know, for the rest of the days of the year, yeah. I want to go out at night <laughs> and do some vigilante justice and have nipples that shoot out. Uh, you know, if you're going to put nipples on a suit like that, they got to do something. Like, they have to have a utility. Like, yeah. he should have cut glass with his diamond nipples. Or, like, or the like, Joker, where he could, like, squirt some yeah, fluid out. Because like, no one would see that coming. Missed opportunity. They're man nipples, you know. Missed opportunity. Speaking of man nipples, I like how I can keep doing that. Be the fan of the bat nipples. The I'm only always, thing that I all nipples. the only thing I miss about the Joel Schumacher Batman were the uh, b- were the bat nipples. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? That's the a, costume design was great. That in those is movies. Uh, uh, what? A, that's a power couple. That's, that's what he's a trying to say. Fucking right? personified Ooh, here. Wee. So I see Superman. I can't. He's like a fucking like me. what? Like a fucking. <laughs> Yeah, right. The caption does it for me. Ron, Ron's got some. What good is this captions. like? Old Catholic? Like this is like yeah, a fucking it, conquistador? Isn't it like, a, or like, like a fucking the Holy Grail type shit? Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. what I'm getting. Even, at. Like, I don't is this know. a is this a Monty know. Python reference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it like the actual he? Because I could believe Rudy Giuliani being like, "I'm a Christian crusader, brother." A crusader. Christ. Yeah, that's what I was I'm, going for. I'm here for Christ. Yeah, you know that. I mean, he is the black, black knight, knight from Monty, Monty Python. Okay, Python. That's, I was like, okay. I feel like this is a, a Monty Python joke. He just but doesn't. If it's I, not, it's cringe. I didn't. Fuck. Well, like, the funny thing is, my brain for, at first went to like, oh, he's dressing up like some guy that like killed people. It was like when Ted Cruz said Rorsch- <laughs> Rorschach was his favorite superhero, and it's like, dude, you don't get the joke, man. Like, you, dude, it went right over your head, brother. <laughs> oh God, dude, I love looking at Giuliani. I mean. The thing is, is that oh, this is a terrible costume. And <laughs> this is such a disgrace to the character. This is LOL. such a, <laughs> this is, He just did a terrible job at the costume, and like Giuliani's got a face. You don't like the slacks and the loafers underneath? What do you mean? Yeah, that's right. Integrity. Like what the fuck? <laughs> He's got a face that's just ripe for. He should have been the Heidi Klum worm or something. I'm saying, like I'm saying you've got been an Gollum. UGG mug, dude. Lean Embrace into the it. mug. Yeah. Because it's, oh, my God, and this dome and shit. I mean, or, you, you know, I don't know, the one time a year you could have worn a mask, Rudy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I might have done now, it. No, I appreciate that. I might that. have leaned yeah. into that. <laughs> well, doesn't the black, I thought the black knight had a helmet or something. <laughs> I, be- I believe that's the case. Isn't he supposed to be missing an arm? I don't Put remember. Put that it's fucking helmet time. on, dog. <laughs> a long time since I've seen that movie. Oh, goodness gracious. Maybe yeah. Might have been upgraded to okay at best. Yeah, exactly. At least then we could have pretended it was somebody else. Doja, Doja Cat. Doja went as a Animal Crossing character, which I thought was pretty dope, actually. But some of these costumes seem like they're set up for a picture, and then they... I mean, do they even go out as this? I'm like, going to be honest, those leggings look like they were added in post in that third picture. They're like, uh, you know what I mean? like they they're don't... like latex. You can kind of yeah, see okay, the shine yeah. of them. It's just That's like fair. this is like kind of latex. But it probably is for a photo op, which, you know, it's fine. I, it kind of gives me mixed feelings because right before you said that. That's your Halloween? Right before you said that, I was like, dude, I really, uh, it's really cool seeing these famous people like showing their nerdy sides and being like, here's my favorite anime character. Or here's my favorite Animal Crossing character. Mm-hmm. But now that you mention it, that maybe they're just doing these photo ops like is this just a pr team being like you know what anime is really in right now so what if you we gotta played a... you as an anime uh kitty cat wouldn't that be great you get a lot of our our numbers suggest that that tracks with the uh, 18 to 25 demographic that you're so key at right, right well now. somebody was like you gotta have a halloween you know photo shoot so here you go i'm Doja. gonna pretend in my head canon it's them being nerds and and that's cool with me so i'm just gonna choose to believe that because i can do that Okay, cool. So we do have enough time. So 
<gasps> Not only was the Aaron Carter rest in peace thing a fucking hot, fresh off the fucking yeah, presses not, thing, didn't, didn't unexpected. Yeah. This bit of news was unexpected right before the podcast. Now I usually put the, I usually you know me and Kevin go at these docs like all week, and then they're kind of put together you know towards the end of the week. So I already had everything ready and prepared to go over the episode today. And then Sausage, the <laughs> internet personality comments. Sausage, uh, cheated on Sniper Wolf. Now, we've talked about Sniper Wolf before on the podcast, you know, just an internet personality, Twitch yeah. streamer, blah, blah, blah. But allegedly and apparently, he cheated on her and they're separated. Yo. So we're going to take a moment to kind of tap dance on his grave here Yo. because... You've got this picture, which I love. I mean, oh my God. I yes. mean, shouts out to the Destiny Taken King. I love Destiny. <laughs> so shouts out to your shirt, but you look like a, you look like. Great taste in games. You're high, bro. In this picture. Certainly looks like he's high. Sniper Wolf. Um, out of your league. Let's just say. Right from the top. Don't want to mince words. Out of your league. She basically, like, it's like every chubby gamer kids like dream is what happened to him not only is he like the f chubby gamer guy because he is i mean i'm not making funny but i am but he is too he's the chubby gamer guy with the long hair and the neck beard and he Little got beard. the he got a hot streamer girl girlfriend that he basically is to manage and then play video games and then you cheated on her allegedly if this is true I mean, what a ball drop here! Dude, I, so let's let's look at some of these other posts. I kind of yeah, collected there, are there a few. Any details on the? Because it, it <laughs> no blows, details. It, was it so blows fresh. my mind that it would there's even one, be possible. There's one that's details, and we'll get to that. But this one says, "Ladies, be careful, because if this ugly fungus, crooked toe can cheat on Sniper Wolf, no one is safe. All men are disgusting freaks. Sniper Wolf gave him too much confidence. Now." This guy that is a brutal take. This, not only is that a brutal take, but this I mean, is a I ain't disagreeing. This, this is a brutal <laughs> picture, dude. Oh my gosh! They definitely took. I mean, like, was he aware of this picture? I get the feeling that this dude. You were joking about it a second ago. I just think he's really high all the time. That's true. He's sucking on a. In Unless that was the joke, unless she was like, oh, honey, hold that face. This is cute or whatever, which I don't expect. That was the situation there. Right. I think it was just more like he's just infatuated with that fucking strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The, the flip-flops like are yeah. questionable. And they called him an ugly toe of a human being. So, Which, yes. So this I thought was cool. While I was r reporting on this story. I came across this throwback to when Sniper Wolf and her former BF Evan were charged with armed robbery and nobody cared. This is only in 2013. Oh, shit. And that's her. I mean, I, I didn't even know. know I didn't know what her real name was. But there you go. Wow. And yeah, dude. <laughs> armed robbery? It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck is I... Sniper Wolf armed robbery? And then you can kind of see the line from there to like, oh, she's got. Her content. So she's never had a good boyfriend. Is her what you're content saying. and her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, Maricopa County. Um, she. I don't know. I guess she kind of just gets what she deserves. Is what I'm saying. It oh, seems like man. she dances with the wrong people. Hey, maybe I don't know. That was nine her. years ago. We'll hope that she's not out here robbing people now. I don't know. No, she, well, she is on to. on Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> they give it. They give her the money willingly now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just goes to show you some people. Now here's just can't, the evidence. By the way, can't get. Uh, okay, you have the evidence. Yeah, go ahead. I have a take, but go. Ahead. I want to. No, go ahead. Uh, I was letting you. <laughs> or just people with bad feet. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, it just goes to show you know that there are some people because I I cannot fathom this dude we the, we all hear the same narrative in our head how could a guy who looks His like that sausage. not just be so appreciative and so thankful for what he has right. that he would what never take it for granted but there are people who just they don't have that part up whether it's upstairs or whatever I you guess. believe in your soul your heart whatever they just they're not able to do it and yeah 
to some extent, I believe uh, I agree with the poster who said uh, that she gave him too much confidence. Again, it's kind of a brutal take because, again, like, you know, not all chubby, sloppy looking dudes are pieces of shit. But when you are a piece of shit, I don't mind someone calling you out on the fact that you don't bathe. This dude probably only had the opportunity to cheat on her because of her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure that it was some sort of cloudy exchange. Like, he probably didn't lay with just some rando. Yeah. It was probably somebody that he met through something or other or somebody he met through Someone having clout. him, right? So exactly. now he's actually the person. Instead of looking up every day. Maybe. Because he has to I mean, look up to his powerful, you know, breadwinner girlfriend. He can have someone groveling at his feet. Because he's the big, he's Mr. Moneybags in that situation. And well, here's he what can, Mr. Moneybags you know, is doing gonna... on Facebook. <laughs> he says, hello, everyone. Evan slash Sausage here. Just go by Evan, dude. I Evan. have an announcement to make. I am the creator of SS Sniper Wolf, as well as Mr. Sausage Boy and Little Leah. I made this channel as part of my project almost 10 years ago. So he's basically taking all the credit for SS Sniper Wolf. Uh, I flew across the country to be with Leah and work on this channel. We got married and were partners in business and life with no one but ourselves knowing the truth about what we do. Due to the differences we cannot seem to reconcile, I have filed for divorce. For the meantime, there will be no more uploads for a bit while we try to work some things out. So, I mean, all that is telling me is first off, you have you're in charge of her accounts, which already is which suspect yeah, again. Why? Yeah, it's her account. So fuck off, dude. And secondly, he Why are these it, women doing this? Yes, this is like kind amaranth of giving me the amaranth like, vibes. You, exactly. Like, ladies, please, please. This guy don't has, let your boyfriends in control of your social media. Stop this right your now. Your social media are like anything, okay? You still get to exist as a human being outside of other said person. I mean, take it from me. I've been married for fucking six years. Yeah, and been with my wife no, for sorry. yeah. <laughs> For years and years, you know, we have shared bank accounts and stuff, right? That comes with the territory, whatever. But it's not like we have shared social media or something. Like, she's not getting on my social media. She has no reason to. She's not sending hot tweets from the clout route Twitter. You know, I wish I could blame it on her. (laughs) But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, what... He should not have any access to your shit. Period. Because then he, or otherwise, he You're doing can yourself do shit like this. And we've seen it very quickly with, and with two of the bigger creators on their platform too. Like when we looked at Sniper Wolf, was she not on the top twenty-five? Remember when we when yeah. the Twitch money yeah, came out? Yeah, she makes out? some of the most. She's one of the more profitable female creators. No reason to ever let anyone else be in control of that, unless there's someone that like you're high. Like, and again, there probably is some kind of contract or whatever, but. That should not be your spouse, because I don't care how much you love each other right now. Like, then when things go bad, this is what happens. And right. now this, ew, please, please, if it's not, we're not normally setting out to help people or give life advice, but fuck, I couldn't just go past that because we've seen it like three, two out of or three, two out of the last three weeks, we've seen it. And right. If it can happen to those two ladies, it can happen to you. Because fuck, goddamn, that's. Scary. I do want to say that this was hot off the press, so like this might develop. And I also say allegedly because you, how the internet works these days, it seems like every day I wake up and my uh, I'll have some sort of like tweet that was recommended to me on one of my accounts or my uh, trending says like Rip Joe. And I'm like, what is that? Or it's like Trump is back. And I'm like, what is this? And I click on it and it's a troll completely. So what I mean is. Since this is so fresh, I can't really vet it as, you know, well as I normally would. It doesn't I don't give it a couple days to air out. So this is hot off the press, just so everybody knows. We are truly living in the upside down. That's no kidding. That is correct. <laughs> Absolutely. So getting into that then, if you want to get into some uh weirdness and wildness, we've got quite the quick routes this week. So mm. I don't think we already did Don Jr. I don't think we should go from the top. I think you should maybe I'll let you kind of look, take a look and see what you want. Mm-hmm. There are some that I definitely want to visit, like 
you know, I want to touch on Kanye and Kyrie. I'll say that now, especially Kyrie Let's just because go from the top then. because Fuck it. I've done Fuck it. We'll in do it my from the top. in my other job, I've had to talk a lot about Kyrie this week. So interesting. Uh, but so I've you can avoided give maybe a little different take for specifically for this show. <laughs> okay. There we talk X's and O's. I'm not there to talk about conspiracy theories on the bounce every Thursday at nine. Sorry, shameless plug. But uh, here I can talk about so. it. Before we do the Kyrie and Kanye of it all, which is like, you know, Third Reich shit, we can do the Madonna thing because this is fucking hilarious, dude. This cracks me the fuck up. She doing a bump? Bro, check this out, dude. No, not well, not a bump, not a bump per se, but Ah. here we go. Where are you getting ready for? Where are you going? What is it? Is that Pop? Never did that before. (laughs) No! <laughs> the laugh is killing me, dude. You've got this lady dying, dude. Look at Madonna. I am a Christian. Whoa. No. <laughs> Everything is different. I am a Christian. <laughs> well, you know what? First I of all, I sniff one of those. Let me sniff one of those. I mean, check this out. What's she got did going on? I not too? know Madonna was a Christian. That is, that is. <laughs> yeah, right. That was a popper for sure. Like even the like even down to the whoa. Allegedly. You know? Alleg- okay, Allegedly. Yeah. Alleged. Okay. Alle- Allegedly. Alleged. It was quite possibly. How would I say it this? It was uh, liquid cement. Yeah. It what was, was that uh, face? Liquid bandage. Whoa. It reminded me of the. Uh, it's always sunny episode you know, I with mean, the wedding dress. It reminds me of any scene where you go. <gasps> yeah. Wow. You know, I mean, that's how it usually goes. She's getting it right. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. Can I also say that her co-host tooth, needs dude. more uh, more screen time? Because she has one of those laughs like. Uh, I would listen to this podcast. Laugh. Like That's a great laugh. Absolutely. I would listen to this podcast. I have to say. I think Madonna say. has to be on poppers in order for me to keep <laughs> this podcast. But I'd like to see the other lady with someone else. So, so you'd only watch a Madonna podcast if she was on poppers exclusively. Unless Madonna is is doing like call, some it, old school. I want to tell you what it was Madonna like. It's just called Madonna on be, poppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pop star. <laughs> Pop hey, star with yeah, Madonna. Yeah. Listen, Madonna, my DMs are open uh, for business inquiries only. Um, I was going to say, yeah. would you hit that up? I mean... Y- yeah, I mean, for the sake of being put on the list or what? <laughs> like, because at this point, that's like the Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah! If it you is. have slept with it's Madonna, the rock you're and a roll Hall of Fame. Dude. Like, you're you're clearly in the Cl- cultural, you know. I think uh, you're only uh, admitted entrance if you have your name on some kind of yeah. plaque or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she like she. There's a company that uh, much like when you used to get verified on Twitter, you'd have to pay a company to prove like uh-huh. your 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 clout. I think Madonna <laughs> has that. There's an NDA, and then she's got a guy. You, she shows up at your like, house. Well, once how many hit a certain threshold? Yeah, how many impressions <laughs> per year do you have? Because if it's not in the millions, we ain't talking here. So I can't uh, wait till we hit that million million impressions threshold, and Madonna comes knocking. I'll do poppers with her. I'll do, uh, no, I would do yeah. what did we do on the pod the one time? It was, uh, I still have it downstairs. Those smelling salts? We'll do some smelling salts on the pod, me oh, and Madonna. God. <laughs> ah! Actually, that shit, can I, like, knocks you out. Can though. I get That's one of those on my way out? out? My sinuses are a little clogged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let, you, I'll let you take a sniff, dude. Yeah. And a sniff. Or you can take a sniff of my foot. And if you didn't see it's our faces comparable. explode when we did that, that is on the Clout Route I think we should just do it again. find it. Go find it. It's there. Also, yes. No, so yes, no. Huh. But someone else uh, is doing it. I mean, by that I mean we're gonna have our good friend Ted on. Ted's gonna. We're gonna. Have, yeah, right. He's gonna try smelling. Salts we're gonna. First. I mean, we're gonna have some punishment at some point. I haven't figured out what the next task for us to do is. Like smelling salts was the first one because I don't want to subject you to too much abuse. I mean, you sure, got. You've already that. got a day job, so. I don't want to. You mm-hmm. know, I don't want to go overboard, but I do think it's fun to let. And there's some catharsis in letting the audience take joy in our pain, I feel That's like. That's fair. Yeah. I, Maybe. I can appreciate that. All right. So tell me about Kyrie, dude. What the? Oh, He's watching begin? movies he shouldn't be. Well, it might not so much be the watching of them as it is the, <laughs> the promotion? Uh, promoting of them on his Instagram. You got to tell me what you said about this movie earlier. So the movie... Which is titled 
Uh, I'm paraphrasing here. There, it's a very long title, so I may be missing parts of it, but it's uh, the main portion of the title is called From Hebrews to Negroes. Um, it is a three-and-a-half-hour film. Essentially, Kyrie posted on his Instagram the Amazon preview of, you know, like, you know how when you go to Amazon and it's not something offered on Prime and it gives you the rent or buying options, you know, does mm. everyone know what I'm, what screen I'm talking about? Yes. Um, he took a screenshot of that screen and shared it to Instagram and the uh, movie um, <laughs> is about a lot of is things. It like, it's three it, and a half hours long. Do you struggle to say that because like you don't like movie it yeah well yes i haven't seen it and oh, okay. we're gonna get to why here in a yeah. second but um it's three and a half hours that include uh some very anti-semitic things again i don't know exactly what those are it because says, i haven't seen it anti-semitic book or prom- this is a book it's saying that's wrong uh that's, that's it's rolling about, stone it's, well rolling stone uh movie Come, come at your boy. This is interesting. Uh, oh, it's a movie and a book. It's a movie based off of a book. Actually, okay. that's correct. Actually, a good. Point. Kyrie yeah. Irving took the so, Twitter to boost a movie and book stuff. stuff. Correct. Yes. So okay. the book was written in 2015. It took about three years to make the movie, which I believe mm. came out in 2018. Um, but to my knowledge, the promotion was a screenshot of a movie. So I didn't realize that he was okay. promoting the book. But yes, it's it's based off of a book. But okay, yes. Anti-black so, racism can be traced to key Jewish texts. And then it has a section wondering if there's False. any connection between Lucifer, Satan, Freemasonry, <laughs> and Judaism. Which, again, stop me if you've heard that one before because it's virtually, and I've said it 72 times in only oh. 50 episodes on this show somehow, <laughs> that... <laughs> that is where virtually every conspiracy theory leads. Like that is a, it's 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 like this sales funnel the that eventually the gets top. you down to Freemasonry uh, and all of this stuff. It, it's very common, a very common thread in in these communities. Uh, however, I haven't seen the movie, and I went to check into it because to be to be honest with you, the the aftermath the aftermath and the backlash as I tried to merge two words together there the mm-hmm. aftermath of this was pretty hectic the NBA has suspended Kyrie for at least five yeah, games like, because he shared that uh, basically because he didn't apologize for it properly um, he okay. went and said that there were certain aspects of the film that he didn't agree with and that he didn't mean any offense by the whole thing. And the NBA commissioner said that wasn't good enough for me, and the NBA reviewed it, and they said, you're being suspended for at least five games without pay. But it was a conditional suspension basically saying, you need to give us a better apology by the time those five games are up, or you may still continue to be suspended. He has since apologized. I don't know if it was good enough for the NBA. Um Nike also has ended its business deals with Kyrie Irving, which is a Good. great time for me to point out that while we're all so happy about this, maybe we should just take a look into how Nike makes their shoes. If we want to have a righteous cause to fight for, then perhaps let's look about? at Children? the child labor that is used to make Nike's tennis shoes. So before you go and pat China. Nike on the back China. for protecting uh a, a group of people which i wouldn't I mean that's not the point i'm not saying don't do that but i'm saying don't let nike off the hook because they were like oh yeah cool nike's so great because they said kanye uh, or since they said Con- Kyrie said bad things no nike is taking a scapegoat here and making sure you're not paying well, attention every, to what the fuck they're actually every doing. corporation every brand that drops Kyrie or or kanye has their own skeleton exactly you don't get to the top without knocking a few on the way up. So yeah. So, but <clears> however, <throat> I went to rent he, this movie to can, see. You, oh, go ahead. Can I say something yeah. before you give that anecdote? Because I think that's hilarious. Mm-hmm. He looks like he smells. Just saying. <laughs> he looks like he stinks. Why? Why? I don't know. He looks like he I, crawled I, out I, of like a dumpster. I, He's so I, unkempt. <laughs> he don't fucking do. Sh- he just. <laughs> All right, I'm here. All right, I'm here, coach. And they, like, throw on a new jersey on him before he goes in there because they buy a new one for him every fucking game. But he looks like he seriously crawled out of bed and came. I'm going to come. Um. Anyway, so he I went to rent this movie. Just saying. Which this was after it had been not only because not only has Kyrie been called out for this, but Amazon, there's been some pressure on Twitter for Amazon to remove it. But the in movie the, in the meantime. Yes. Now, yeah. yeah they which want the makes movie sense. To be removed. If it, yeah. If you're banned, okay, like, 
yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you're gonna, if you're, go if you're gonna, get, you know, take. If you're gonna suspend a guy, you know, if you're gonna, if everyone's gonna be mad at the guy for promoting the movie, then there should probably be something. People should also maybe be mad for the place that is exactly. offering it. But um, I say all that just to say I went to rent the movie because I wanted to see. Okay, let me take a look at this and uh, see how bad this really is and what was I in here. Know too, I mean, I'd be curious. Well, well, for the low, low price of twelve dollars, you can rent the movie for twenty four hours. But however, oh my God. if you would like to own this piece of internet history you can do so for the low low price of 49.99 yes you heard me that is correct fifty dollars to own it twelve dollars to rent it for a day so now i won't be able to tell you what it's about because i'm not willing to pay for that but again maybe uh, when Patreon has there someday. ever been a movie that you sold that's went for 50 bucks to buy it like usually, a collector's edition of fucking say, Lord of the Rings or something? Be, like, what the fuck? I think for me, it was like a diehard collection. Yeah, yeah it dude, was 50 multiple bucks? Movies. You gotta be kidding me. I wouldn't even pay that much for fucking What is a Woman with by Matt Walsh or whatever on his stupid <laughs> private site. <laughs> the only movie that I'm paying $50 for is My Son Hunter because I want the director's commentary of that really badly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you got a point there, I guess. You're a Daily Wire stan. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hypothetically, I would uh, <laughs> say that I am a top tier three uh, percent subscriber. Yep. Um, Agree. Uh, yeah. I feel. I feel that. I, I, get, I get that vibe from you, Kevin. Yeah. I get that vibe from I am a free Kanye who too. Supports freedom of speech. So, the why is is the Kyrie thing related to the Kanye thing? Because he's getting influence from him, or what? No, just because they're both anti-Semitism. Oh, okay. Bo- they're, bo- it's both, they're both anti-Semites. It's both saying, they're both saying anti-Semitic well, did things you at the see same the, time. That's all. The, the tweet that popped off that he did this weekend that got him, that got removed or whatever. I believe I did, but I don't, I don't remember it. Did you, did you get the photo it was, of it? Do you know what it said? I mean, I could, I wouldn't show it if I had the photo because it's a bad tweet. Oh yes, now but I'm he said, remembering it. Because he said anti-Semites. Yeah. Anti-Semite is the new mm-hmm, N word. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but he mm-hmm, said mm-hmm, the N. Mm-hmm. But he typed the N word with the R's, I believe. Oh that yeah, with the R. And then yeah. you saw everyone and their and their brother literally share it. Everyone and their brother share it. I don't think my brother shared it, but. Everyone and their brother fucking shared it. Literally. Fair, he's got... No, I mean... But he's, I, he's what I mean by that is on. there were a lot of motherfuckers that I saw retweeting that. It's like their free N-word pass was because Kanye said it on Twitter. Oh, God. But he got it taken down. Like, It probably lasted for like an hour, maybe. Or like, you know, maybe not even. And then he was back off of Twitter? Or? Well, he's still on, but, but the, the tweet, tweet got, got removed. Yeah. I was, say. I was like, well, that was quick. So <laughs> let's hear what he has to say about the uh, George Floyd shit. He... God. I guess I he's getting I caught by one. press on the fucking side of the road or something. Like, what the fuck? But here you go. And I and I and I question the death of George Floyd. It hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. Did you hear the groan? So I. Thank you, God, for humbling me. And yeah, yeah, he failed. You're not humbled, buddy. I just, I hate to break it to you, but did you hear the audible groans from the people there? Hold, they're like, well, because uh. nobody is in support of his fucking takes, dude. None of them. He's crazy, unhinged, and all the wrong takes. But I mean, how? I don't know how you could handle this worse. This is like Trisha Paytas level. Yeah, of everything's about me. Yeah. You know, it is kind of funny. He has main character syndrome, oh, just like that's the new Trisha. Oh my God, the God, new God, frenemies God. could very well be them. It, I mean, it would it'd be a done in one episode. Yeah, one 30 minute episode. No, they, because she loves Jews. You ain't got the answers, Remember? Trisha. She <laughs> oh, yeah. was obsessed with Jews. She like loved them. But, it, but it's still, it's like a. And he hates. So it would be a very good. But she loves Jews and like, it's a cute accessory on my bag for, you know well, what yeah, I mean? It's, like, they're she both. She doesn't. They, they're kind of, they're, they're. It's two sides of the same coin. Racism coin, yes. 
No, I agree it's, for sure. It's gross. Ain't none of it good. But God, Kanye has there ever been still... a more out of touch? I think at this point, is he the most out of touch celebrity of all time? Like, I think he's. I, I just think keep he's going, surpassed dude, I any guess. crazy dude we've just ever keep had. Going. Even even Whatever. what was it? Randy Quaid, who was like, there, there's a. There's a, a, a network of superstar whackers that are assassinating movie stars. I think Kanye is, or Ye, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think Ye is officially more crazy than Randy Quaid at this point, uh, which is saying something. I mean, I mean look up Randy Quaid on Twitter real quick if you have the chance. Like, I don't want to do it because it's too much typing for no, me right no, now. No, no. But his profile pic is like his hair, look. he looks like he stuck his fucking finger in an outlet or something <laughs> no, he's he like didn't do it the star out the star whackers did it yeah they're, they're after him they're trying to kill him mm -hmm. for all of his years he's stayed relevant in the media yeah okay randy quaid y'all it's a conspiracy bro. so tim pool gets a taste here check this out up yours woke moralists we'll see who cancels <laughs> who he says men can't get pregnant women can get pregnant trans women can't get pregnant trans men can get pregnant and then name cannot be blank says, then how did your dad get pregnant after I blasted fat ropes in his ass? And then we'll see who cancels who. Lo and behold, <laughs> we'll see who cancels who. <laughs> oh well, I like that's that. just funny. Yeah. That's pretty oh, that's funny. funny. I can la I can laugh at that suspension, right? Is this one fair? Is this above board? <laughs> fat, fat ropes. ropes. <laughs> it's, it's fat. Is fat ropes a high enough threshold that I can, you know, laugh at this without being accused of like reporting it <laughs> of myself? Of being the reporter. <laughs> no, see, this is good. This is what you, you have to laugh when someone who's against Tim Pool gets report gets banned too, because then it's like, hey, I make fun of everyone who yeah. gets banned. Yeah, it's not about it's not about your political take. It's about fat ropes is a funny thing to laugh about. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Tim Pool got a taste and. <laughs> I was gonna. I was I waiting agree. till the podcast Joel, to ask to you. you. His newest music video came out. Should Not we catch a can't clip? Keep getting away with it. It's called. It's called like genocide or something. Why is it called that, Tim? I mean, it's probably <sighs> anti-Semitic. This dude needs to take that beanie off every once. He's starting to overheat. You know, like, what are you doing? Genocide. It might not be on God. YouTube because it looks like uh, it looks Genocide like some people are saying review. reactions, which usually means not on YouTube. It's also just weird to. It's I still want Tim to Cast this music. Time Here you go. Out Look, that it's dude. weird that your band is named after your podcast. Yo, he's got like a bunk ass like Tim produced music video. Okay, we can catch a few seconds. Yeah, we can get a little bit of this. Come on. It's all about that protein. <laughs> it is all about that protein. And then after this, we will end the show on some iShow Speed stuff. Oh, of course. Good. I do want to say that uh, Wendy Williams is back. She has a podcast again, so check that out. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> we'll yeah, we had, from that. It's been a minute. It's been 30-plus episodes since we've seen her face on this show. I can't wait. And uh, Ludwig... Uh, showed his more. balls on yeah, wait. Uh, Cold Ones podcast on their Patreon episode, and someone clipped it out and posted it on Twitter. So As they would. His yeah. balls Why? are all over Twitter for the past like, week. Be, man, I mean, he, he well, knew because, it, right? He's like, here come. No, here he did it. Come, world. He did it and then uh, texted uh, anything for views, Chad, the fat guy on the podcast, <laughs> and said, don't put my balls in the video blur them at least and then when prompted on whether the editor should blur the balls he was like oh no don't blur the balls oh <laughs> <laughs> but he said his reasoning is that he said he misread the text so basically a binary answer whether it's yes or no and he took it the other way <laughs> oh, I thought you said yes. Oh, you said I thought you said don't don't show my balls. Like whatever you do, don't make make sure no don't one misses not show the my glory balls. that are my balls. Mm. So yeah, Ludwig's Whoops. balls all over. So there's that, and we'll watch the Ice Show speed clips. But I want to catch a little bit of this Tim Pool. Look, he's watching like Rachel Maddow and shit in his music video. Oh God, that's some very. Uh, you have some very bad deep fakes going on, bro. Uh, here we go. Is this Taylor Lorenz? Oh. 
We're inside breeding. Fat Ew. ropes in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching the stupid music video. We get claimed by his dumbass anyway. I'm anyways. done with that, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, check that out. If you like... Uh, it, that one kind of sounded like... He's definitely running the 90s vibes. The last one was like a stone sour, like three doors down kind of thing. And this one is like more of like an offspring vibe. Because the drummer's from Offspring. I forgot. What? Yeah. It's the anti-vaxxer from the Offspring. He got kicked out. <laughs> you didn't know that? We talked about that on the podcast. The anti-vaxxer, no, the anti-vaxxer from Offspring, drummer, got kicked out of the band for being an anti-vaxxer and then made a band with Tim Pool. And now when they do their, like, promo online like he released a press release with this which is hilarious first off but second off their press release is like led with like tim pool of tim cast and former drummer of (laughs) of the offspring come with tim cast the band or whatever it's like dude (laughs) if you were the guy from the offspring i feel like you should feel gypped that your band is not called like the other offspring or something rather than Tim cast literally named after Tim pool's other show, same name named after Tim pool. The relevance of you being the offspring drummer, I feel like goes out the window. Nobody gives a fuck except for your press release. I guess they put that at the top. Uh, Anyways, I digress. You can go on and on about that, but I want to show Kevin here. Some clips of I Show Speed, our favorite young creator out there right now. And he is actually, which, you know, I would wish upon anyone out there that has children, that when their children become of age where they can become streamers like this, I Show Speed, I think, is of age. I think he's 18, maybe, whatever. Who knows? Correct me on it. But once you become of age, you could get some internet personality and clout. If I have a son or daughter that becomes an internet cloudy person, if they don't invite me to their streams to hang out and be cool dad and have stuff like this happen, I'll be pissed. Oh, so okay. I'm 100% behind I Show Speed here bringing his dad right here on stream with him to have a little fun. And we got two clips of Daddy Speed with I Show Speed. Now check yes. these out, dude. So fucking Funny, priceless shit. Call me a bitch? Then why would I give you a present? You don't deserve it. Prove to me that you deserve it. That was the whole comment that I said to you. Why would you be upset for the fact that you have to prove who you are in life? You can't just coast by and be like, oh, it goes on and on. It goes on and on. And in fact, it goes on and on (laughs) and on (laughs) and on. (laughs) She gets up and on. She's like, I'm going to leave. And he just keeps barking. All right, I'm out. Pleasure meeting you. You too. Have a good one. His dad's like, what the fuck just happened? (laughs) Dude, that's, wow. (laughs) Okay, I'm out. I mean, I I have to agree with chat. I have to agree with Zool here. I don't quite, I don't always understand the content. But you don't get it here. Funny. He's getting drilled, and then he just decides to win the conversation by barking at her like a dog. Was he? I thought she was talking to the girl. I didn't even think she was. Oh talking no, she to was him. talking to him. I thought he was just saying. Y'all Cause need listen to, to what shut she up. says. Call me a bitch. Then why would I give you a present? You don't deserve it. Prove to me that you deserve it. That was the whole comment that I said to you. But why is the girl reacting that way then? I th- this I, girl is yeah. just like being drama queen over here. She's oh. like, oh, oh, see, ah. Yeah, you see, I, I don't get it either. You, you gotta know. have soy face on the Twitch stream. I like get us. the uh, oh, 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 my oh, oh. <laughs> thumbnail time, baby. Well, that um, has to be when we're big screen, so you gotta save some of those soy faces. Oh, for, damn it! For after this next clip. <laughs> yeah, I so, think that's, that's fantastic. Now this one, I, I think this one will make you laugh way more than that one did, and uh, this is. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. His con- that's what it is. It's it not, isn't genuine. Uh, yeah. He's a jokester. Like it's all a joke. Like, like we watched quiz. a clip where he yeah, fake quiz and he failed because chat gave him the wrong answers. Or when he crashed, 
his virtual car yeah, or when he got hacked, hacked on, stream. on stream we watched that clip too <laughs> yeah. where he got hacked on stream and he's like oh shit his pants or his computer's making noise and going crazy yeah. like yeah he's it's all an act but it's funny like that's what you're supposed i don't know i don't want to explain the joke you're supposed to Suspend your disbelief or whatever they say. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which Suspend does make your it great. Like when you first see him, when you first get that first clip of him, you're like, holy fuck. Like, like this can't that... be for real. Right. And then once you're in on the joke, it's like, it's kind of fun, right? Now you're in on the joke and it's like, well, let me, how, how can I spread this? You... I show speed misinformation across the internet. Right. And I think that like, yeah, there's clips like that, that, uh, that you, you may need, you're like, what the hell? Is this real or not? You know, kind of thing. This clip, you don't need any of that kind of context. <laughs> Just check this out. So this is earlier in the same stream, huh? Oh. oh. Wait a minute, man, no! Wait, 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 wait a minute! Wait, 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 and he notices, and then he's like, no! That's what he said. Self-control is what he said. Yeah, what does he need to prove? Uh, I think that, you know, Zul mentioned something there about Speed never having a shirt on. And I I don't, what is, that's a common thing right it's now. It's the thirst it's, trap thing. You know, I mean, Tate does it. Like, there's just so many people who just stream shirtless all day. I don't get it, man. I prefer it wouldn't work if you're like, boogie. Or me. Or me. Yeah, I can't do it. We're not shirtless. little cute twinks, but yeah. if you're Andrew Tate or I show speed, it's like your nipples nipples draw the eyes, okay? You're about to see with our thumbnail today that mm -hmm. nipples nipples and worms will get you very far in life, okay? I expect at least a nipples an improvement of six to eight percent in our click through rate due to the additional three nipples that I added to nipples? this thumbnail. I mean somebody needs to really take us down <laughs> on record. Nipples and worms will get you places in life. I mean, whether it's fucking I show Speed's nipples and all of his clips with his dad, or, you know, Amaranth's forced to stream 48 hours by her crazy slave driving boyfriend nipples on stream, you know. Everyone loves nipples. I have a good friend of mine. His favorite quote or thing to say, his thing to say, tits are tits, okay? And it's I feel same. like <laughs> it's a very, very, like, that sentiment can be spread across all languages, tits are tits okay if you pull your tits out whether you're i feel like whether you're a man or a female if you pull your tits out in any situation no matter if they are good or bad they will be appreciated it's a mood it's a releaser of endorphins bro i Someone mean like has clearly never been to com fest in tits, downtown columbus dude. no if they, they look no. if they look like fried eggs dangling off nails nope. That's funny. Swing low, sweet chariots. Exactly. But like, no, also, but no. I don't want to see it. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like tits or tits they're... is a great sentiment because it doesn't matter. If they're bad ones, you pull those out and everybody in the room laughs. Mm -hmm. If they're good ones, <laughs> you pull laughs. those out and everybody <laughs> is locked. Or they're looking away like I should be dad. Like, oh, what? no. <laughs> Grow up, son. You can't be doing shit like that. Hot tubs. Yes, yep. hot tubs. Yep. Yeah, exactly. All you got to do is hop on an inflatable hot dog in the middle of your, uh, you know, kiddie pool in yeah, your, your living room. Your I mean, bedroom like, jacuzzi. Yeah, whatever the fuck's going on there. But Which, again, I don't get. Cause I've like, definitely thought about it before that the way this room is situated, we could definitely get two kiddie pools oh my God, in yeah. here and, like, cans of, like, we could, like, do, like, pudding or something. Yeah. How many people... Whoever's left, go to our Twitter, tweet at us if you would like to see us swimming live on the podcast in chocolate pudding in kiddie pools with Bob Ross in between us. Sound out, sound off on Twitter. I want it to be tapioca. Tapioca pudding. <laughs> okay. <Right on> <laughs> 
But anyways, we appreciate everyone showing up today. I think two hours and 17 minutes is quite enough for us this week. You've probably reached the point of done hearing Danny's stupid voice. So we'll get out of here. We'll let you have a good weekend. All right. Have a happy Saturday night, folks. And we will catch you next time. Peace. Yep.